Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Still no sound? Okay, as soon as I press that, then all the comments. And we can hear you, we can hear you. Okay, hi everyone. I hope you're having a good Saturday. Thanks for joining me. Um, <clears throat> I... <laughs> um, okay, so something unfortunate happened this morning and I threw out my neck at the gym. I don't, I don't know what happened. I. I must have done something to it and it was kind of hurting but I kept working out and then I got home and by the time I got home it had like seized up and it um I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this today because I was in so much pain like crying in the shower pain you know that's when um it's bad but um I have been icing it and having Ben rub it and doing the brrr gun thingy and um, also I took a T3. <laughs> That's the only way I think I could do this. I took a T3 that I had left over. So that's just Tylenol with coating. Nothing crazy, but um, I cannot move my neck well. So we will... Um, we will do our best, but I am at like a five right now in pain. So I, <laughs> Ike says I cry in the shower for different reasons. The shower is my favorite place to cry. So I, I feel you on that. Um, <clears throat> I need to do a telehealth and see if I can get some muscle relaxants to get me through the weekend before I can go see a chiropractor or something, but, um, okay, so blah, 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 want, 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 right? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I seem to always just have problems with my neck, and it is what it is. Okay, so, guys, hi, thanks for being here again. Tell me where you're from, how's your Saturday going? Um... And tell me where you're tuning in from. Your knees below your pelvis. That will help. Okay, I did it. We'll fix all my problems. Austin, Texas, Victoria, British Columbia. Oh, I want to go there again. Saskatoon, Alabama, California, North Georgia, Ohio, Las Vegas, Dallas, Vancouver, Michigan, Arizona, oh, Sweden. That is so cool. Australia. What time is it in Australia right now? Hi from the UK, the USS Enterprise. I love it. Um, <clears throat> from the Czech Republic, Texas, Las Vegas, Finland, the FBI van outside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Grand Prairie. Hey, Quebec. That's where Ben's from. Did you know that? He's from Montreal, Quebec. Um, <clears throat> that is always so fun to see where everyone's tuning in from Nova Scotia. I love it, guys. Um, okay, so today. <laughs> oh, wasn't I like hopped up on cold medicine on our last live? Was that a Patreon watch along or was that a real live? But anyways, you know, we're just going to we're just going to do our best and have fun. Um, I have a babysitter for three hours. So 
we are going to try to get it done. Uh, there is a lot of packages this time. Oh, you guys, I'm so overwhelmed with um, gratitude for um, these packages that all have been sent. Um, oh, do I ever need Carly? I wish Carly was here. She's in Texas right now. She had to go visit her best friend. Um, but <clears throat> I, my, my cousin who opens the packages for me said that there are some really amazing and special things in this load and there always is, but, um, definitely some big ones. She said, so I'm excited. It feels like Christmas. Um, and I'm just <laughs> a little worried about, um, we're gonna, we're just, we're, it's gonna be great. It's, it's gonna be great. Oh, hi, Wesley. I saw your packages in here and I'm so excited. Okay, really quick for those of you um, who are new here, how the packages work. Um, so they're sent to PO, a PO box and <clears throat> I have my cousin who helps me with some stuff for popcorn in bed. It's actually Ben's cousin, but same thing. She's my cousin-in-law, I guess, but um, she goes through all of them. And I know that some of these packages, she said, some of them said, don't open before live. And unfortunately, we just can't do that. We've had some weird things, scary stuff, inappropriate stuff being sent. So, and that is like very, very rare, but I just can't make an exception for one person and not the other. Do you know what I mean? So I don't see them. I don't see what's in them before right now, but she does make sure that it's all good. Um, <clears throat> and then, um, for the first few lives, we were opening DVDs individually. Um, but it was, they were like five plus hours long. So in this case, DVD, um, packages aren't opened on the live but taken out oh crap i gotta go find my little um drawing thing to so took all the dvs out dvds out they go into a pole well they go into a bowl and then i'm gonna pull things from the bowl and then um we're going to put it on a pole live and you guys will choose from those out of all the dvds that have been sent um okay so <clears throat> i also want to thank my moderators that are here um could not do these things without them and i know this definitely takes time away on a saturday when they would maybe rather be doing something else so thank you guys so much um oh moderate thoughts oh wow that's so generous hey homie here's a life hack for you fill the tub with hot water as hot as you can stand soak your neck for 20 minutes every day I had a deep blood clot years ago and couldn't walk. The hot water had me walking in two days. What? Okay. How every day? I do that sometimes when I can't warm up. I just like, that's the only time when I have a bath really. But, um, Ben, <laughs> also I feel like I just, like my showers are like so hot. I just like them to like almost burn me, you know? Is that weird? I feel like that's a girl thing. Um, and and thank you, Colton and Haas, for gifting memberships. That is so kind and generous. I love that. Um, okay. <clears throat> I just want to answer a few questions before we start getting into packages and stuff. So, ask away. I want to just see if there's any burning questions I can answer for you. Um, do you ever watch a film without pulling first? Yes. Um, sometimes I just decide that I want to watch something. Um, and sometimes, and I try to do a popcorn pick of the month. So it's just something that didn't win a poll necessarily that I want to watch or that's been requested a lot, but isn't winning the polls. This month it was Silverado. I think next month it's going to be 
rhymes with min pup. <laughs> um, cause it, I saw that it got eliminated tin cup in our bracket, which guys our matchups today. Uh, I don't have it on me. I guess I could Google it, but I'm not going to. Um, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Crap. My brain is a little foggy too. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Matchups. Uh, Tin Cup got eliminated with the team. Sicario got eliminated with by BYU. Gosh, I knew I shouldn't have rooted for them. It's so hard to be a BYU fan. They give you a little bit of hope and then they just they just choke. They they that's what they do, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> um okay. Well, Too Sweet 68 says, are you only watching the championship um movie or will you watch all four final four movies? I'm not gonna tell you yet because I feel like that will take some of the fun away from it so we'll see definitely the first maybe one and two maybe final four i'm not gonna tell you until we figure it out i mean until it gets there okay <clears throat> um oh Os osprey eye that is so kind thank you for saying that um, yes, Pleasantville has been suggested so much. It is on my short list for Cassie's popcorn pick of the month. Um, I know I do need a sticker, a popcorn and bed sticker. I should add those to my shop. Um, okay. I don't have a reaction to 12 Monkeys yet. That was on the March Madness, but I think that also got eliminated. Okay, um, so Choof said, sorry about the TNG videos. Still excited for the full length reactions though. I know, guys, I don't know what is going on, but copyright has been cracking down lately. Like our last, like however many videos all are you know, they're not monetized anymore. They're in disputes. Um, so we are, we're working on it, but, um, it might come to be where we have to have like the logo of the movie on the screen. Or I saw a comment that said another channel, like put fair use on the screen. Cause it is fair use. Like the content isn't the movie. If the content was the movie, people could just watch the movie, but people watch, watch reactions to see a reaction and a review and emotions attached from the movie. Anyways, so um, we're working on it, but uh, I think if the full length Patreon for the first two of season two Star Trek aren't on yet, they should be very soon. Um, are they up yet? No, not yet. They will be soon. And then Silverado is going to premiere right after this. So hopefully we can all just hop on over there. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so yeah, but Choof, spoiler, I have really liked the first two episodes I've watched of Star Trek season two so far. Like, really liked it. I watched elementary dear data and the measure of a man and those were so good i thought so i'm excited to watch those with you guys zane from canada pib enamel pins for merch i would love to get one of those on my vest oh what a good idea um yeah we should i should look into that i'll see if the thing we do merch through has those um <clears throat> la lou i'm intrigued by something you said you hate any team lebron is on where did that come from he happens to be on my team right now so just curious <sighs> I, <laughs> I don't know why I don't like LeBron. I, well, I kind of do. Um, so my brother is a huge basketball fan and love, love, loved Kobe Bryant, like diehard Kobe Bryant fan always. Um, in fact, 
we were on vacation once in Arizona and um, the Lakers were going to be playing the Suns there. But the tickets were super expensive, so none of us like could muster it up. But he went by himself to the game just to go see Kobe play. And then another time he like drove all the way to Utah to see Kobe play. And then he, it was like the one, it was like he played like 200 consecutive games and then broke his finger and didn't play in the one that my brother literally drove from Canada to. Anyways, he's such a huge fan of Kobe. And I feel like if you love Kobe, maybe you can't love Le Anyways, he's never liked LeBron. I don't know why, but I kind of just like followed his lead. And then I think that press conference where him and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh rose out of the ground with steam when they were all going to the heat and were like, not one, not two, not four, five championships. It was just like so cocky and um, I don't know. I just don't like him. Plus, anyways, I don't want to, I don't want to say too much. Because I'm sure he's nice. He is with still with his high school sweetheart. So that is very cool. Um, <clears throat> okay, sorry. I got sidetracked. Um, Moderate Thoughts said, Are you interested in finding hidden gem movies that others haven't reacted to? Like Uncommon Valor with Gene Hackman? Could we get a way, su su could we get a way to suggest those specifically? Maybe set a minimum Metacritic score or something. I miss Carly too. Me too. <laughs> I really need her for this live, guys. <laughs> Um, that's a great idea. I think hopefully as we do, so, um, if you're on Patreon, we have a website where people can request, uh, movies. And so obviously like the top 50 are popular and highly requested, although not all of them. Like I think Mr. Holland's Opus is in the top 10. I feel like that's not one that gets reacted to a lot. Something like, um, who framed Roger Rabbit is up there. But as we, if we do a poll from like 50 to 100 or even 100 to 150, um, I feel like <clears throat> that will help find the lesser known ones. Um, but yeah, I, I think it could be fun to do like a hidden gem poll too about like movies that are so, you know, underrated or just that are so good but don't get talked about a lot. Todzilla Glad Batman 89 was replaced by Big Trouble in Little China as the biggest letdown. Oh! Oh, I feel so bad because I know you specifically, I feel like I have disappointed because um, I just, I mean, you guys will see if you're not on Patreon. Uh, I did not love Big Trouble in Little China. And as I've been reading the comments and stuff, I'm like, well, maybe it's because like they're kind of spoofing. I think someone said like these old Hong Kong movies or the specific type of martial arts movie that, and I, I'm not familiar with those, so it all just seems like, and I know a lot of comments are like, you're not supposed to get it or take it seriously. And I know that. And, but it still just didn't quite, work for me but that's okay because <laughs> I'm sure if I showed you some of my favorite movies you would also they would also not work for you um but I'm sorry that I didn't love it I I didn't hate it I just didn't click with it too much um I <clears throat> he said when you get to the pain index of higher than five let's call this part one or two two hangouts are better than one plus you'd feel better oh that's so sweet <laughs> we'll see how this goes i i'm hoping i can power through uh you know just because all the, the everything's right here on on the bed so um it would be hard to we'll see um oh i saw a question over here in the main chat that i wanted to answer but no it's gone no someone said if she hates it it stays on patreon that's not always true um uh, big trouble will go up on youtube <laughs> hopefully i don't get in too much trouble there um okay 
Okay, we really have to get started because the guys, there's so many this time. I know I need to do these more often because there was even a bunch here that were like a little bit late for, for the Christmas one. And so there you'll see that. But the problem was we had the poppies and that was just so much work. And so I didn't want to add this because these are surprisingly a lot of work too. And, um, okay. <clears throat> so, oh, JP says, barring any sort of rights slash editing issues, would you ever consider doing reaction to the TV series MASH? It's a comedy drama and some real tear-jerker moments. There's a reason it's such a regarded TV series. My dad used to watch that all the time. I can still hear that theme song. I couldn't hum it for you, but I would know it immediately. Um, actually, the one guy was in a movie I watched, same place next year, and he was so cute, and I thought he was cute back then too on MASH, but I actually have seen a lot of episodes, weirdly, of that show. Um, for right now, I'm... <sighs> doing Star Trek and I've wanted to stick with mini series in the past because I just want to have variety and so when you go like seven seasons of something I feel like it takes away from the variety of the channel but um speaking of that um to the person who sent me the email this week about Star Trek um I I hope that not more people feel this way, but I'm, I guess I'm offending some people by only watching a few episodes from each season. And I promise I'm not trying to do that. I just, I'm, if I wanted to watch all the episodes, it would basically, for me at least, have to turn into a full Star Trek channel for the next couple months. And, uh, I, I don't want to do that for people who don't like Star Trek. Plus I just want to keep the variety and so I'm watching four episodes from each season of The Next Generation to get a feel for the show and for the characters. And I know, I don't, I'm not claiming to get it or that I'm an expert or that, you know, I get it like true fans who watch everything multiple times do. But I'm just trying to dip my toe in and get to know them so that I can enjoy the movies, which are movies and a series and a genre I thought I would never, ever watch before this. So... I know that I'm insulting some people, but, um, that is what it is. I'm, I'm trying my best. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, Tom Castro says, you and Carly must react to twins that star Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. That's actually in the DVD poll today. So that would be cool if it won and we just talked about it. Um, okay. This first package, let's get started. Um, <clears throat> Toto says, why don't you open a second channel for TV shows only? I just, I feel like I barely am keeping my head above water just doing this channel right now. Um, I have three young kids and it, you know, they are like a full-time job too. Like two of them are in school, so that helps. Uh, but it is so much more than people think that, um, you know, we don't, I don't just watch movies. There's so, so much more that goes on. But so maybe eventually one day when all my kids are in school or something like that, I could do a second channel with just TV shows. But, um, okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm talking too much. Okay. Um, this is from Celeste. Celeste, always so sweet. Okay. Ooh, she always has these beautiful books too. Look at this. This is called the MGM effect. And it is How Hollywood Studio Changed the World. Oh, interesting. This book tells the story of a brand that has become more than just a symbol of cinematic achievement. Oh, that's very cool. Was it MGM in Singing in the Rain? No, was it? Oh, I love this old stuff. That is so cool. Oh, and what a beautiful book. Thank you so much, Celeste. <clears throat> um... Katie says, don't worry, Cassie. Most of us are grateful for TN the grateful for the TNG episodes you are doing. Thank you so much for saying that. And like I said, I really am. I was a little like, oh, the first season, the four episodes I watched. But I was just getting a feel for it. And, and I was getting to know them. I feel like the show was figuring itself out. And now I think my reactions will be better 
starting this second season because, oh, I don't like that sound. I was gonna wear gloves, I forgot, because I hate the feel of cardboard. Um, but I feel like the reactions are gonna be better as I get to know them more and the show gets better, right? Okay, this is from Mark J. Thank you so much. Um, oh, a Mr. Rogers card, that's so sweet. Oh, it's happy birthday. Oh, see, this is why I can't wait this long in between lives. Oh, this is very kind words. Thank you. And I will read this after. Um, <clears throat> and by the way, if DVDs were sent in your packages, those have been removed from the packages for the DVD poll. Um, oh, what? so cute look at this shirt okay i think i can do a zoom in um ow sorry <laughs> look at all the tiny little princesses it's even sleeping beauty down here and then darth vader <laughs> leia's telling about him that's so that is so cute leia is a disney princess um i love that shirt thank you mark um Martin Stallard said, have you considered watching Stargate? Oh, I'm very zoomed in. Hold on. Uh, yes, many times. It's uh, also my shortlist. I know I have a long shortlist, but it I think it's still in the bracket, isn't it? Isn't it? It was actually just on a Kurt Russell poll, and I think it came in second to Big Trouble in Little China and Miracle third. So um, if it doesn't do well in the bracket which i'm pretty sure it's in then i will definitely be watching it soon i didn't even know kurt russell was in it i knew james spader was in it um but i did not know kurt russell was in it. oh this is also from celeste what the heck <gasps> star trek oh sarek sarek the incredible story behind one of star trek's best loved characters what he's so cute um oh it's like a side story i thought it was about the actor but it's a side story that's really cool that's very cool thank you um i hope my parents are watching this because i'm guessing there's going to be a lot of star trek stuff in this and i think my dad will just get a kick out of all of it okay this is just from amazon is this to me Okay, we've got washing machine cleaner and wipe clear lens wipes. I mean, this is awesome. Definitely need these. But I wonder, recently I had something where I ordered like a, I ordered like a tablecloth from Amazon and I got a Christmas tree stand. It was just like completely the wrong thing. And I wonder if maybe that happened here or maybe someone was like, hey, this girl needs to get her life together. <laughs> Clean her washer and her screens, which is true. <clears throat> so that could be it too, but it doesn't say who it's from. So thank you. Um, okay, what is this? A poster of some kind? Does it have a name on it? Oh! Oh, this is that amazing uh, girl in the NCAA, right? Um, Iowa, I guess. What's her name? Caitlin? Um, I was just reading about her, actually, and I, I think it's awesome what she's doing for women's basketball. I feel like I read that the viewing has gone up 60% this season or something. Okay, whoever said that, I'm so grateful. Thank you. That's really cool. I think I can't wait to tell my boys about that. Popcorn in bed. Someone accidentally said those. Said in an early, earlier comment, the whites. Oh, no way. That's... <laughs> Do you want me to send them back to you? Like... <laughs> oh, did you, like, put my address instead of your own? I'm so sorry. I, I honestly... If you email me... Popcorn in bed one at gmail.com. Actually, I think I have a new email. Cassie at popcorn in bed. And put, 
Screen wipes, wrong address. I will ship them back to you. Um, okay. This is from... <clears throat> okay, this is from Greg W. Hey, Greg. Oh, I didn't know you live. Oh, I won't say where you live, but I didn't know you lived there. That's so cool. I, I'll tell you about why that place is special to me. Um, I got more M&Ms for you and Carly, but it's what under it's what's underneath that I wanted to give you. I've had this Star Trek prop phaser gun that they used in the original TV series that I've owned for the last 40 years. I acquired it during the time of the movie The Search for Sock back in the early 80s. There are three autographs of the Enterprise crew. Oh my gosh! William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, and Nichelle Nichols, Uhura, on the phaser. Leonard Nimoy's autograph is on the handle of the gun. I tried over the years to get all seven crew members to sign it, but was not able to make it happen. I've tried to think over the years what I would do with this. I don't know what the value is of the signatures, but didn't really want to sell it. When I saw how enthusiastic you've been to the Star Trek TV shows and movies, I decided I wanted to pass it on to someone who I know will appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. It would be fun to hand it over to another now Trekkie and yourself. Hopefully you use it when reacting to fire at and disintegrate some space scum when watching any Star Trek movie. I think there were four settings they did on the TV show for the phaser. I remember set phaser to heavy stun, low thermal, high thermal, and low disruption. I want to say how proud I am of you, where you came from. The story you told us after Cinderella Man about a time when your kids were sick and you could not afford care. You built one of the most successful reaction channels and you're having fun with Carly reacting, by the way. Hi, Carly. Couldn't happen to a nicer person. By the way, a little story. Oh, when I got autographed at the convention, there was an episode in 1968 where Kirk and Uhura kissed. It was the first interracial kiss on TV. I need to go watch that episode. Kirk and Uhura kiss? Um... Big deal back then, Shatner giving a speech at the convention kind of dismissed the kiss, so when Nichelle Nichols heard about it as she was in on the other room giving autographs, she walked over to Shatner's table and planted a big kiss on him, and the crowd went wild. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Advice on how to do the Vulcan hands. I need to work on your lateral pinky strength. Take your hand, spread your four fingers apart, then squeeze them together. Do it until your fingers get tired. <laughs> Maybe make a training montage with some Rocky music. <laughs> oh my gosh, Greg! This is so special. Okay, first M&Ms. Carly's favorite, my favorite. Thank you for remembering. Okay, this is the gun. Oh... Right, an OG prop from the actual thing with autographs. <gasps> There's Leonard Nimoy. I can see him. Let's zoom. I am going to cry. This is so um, precious and I just, I feel undeserving. Thank you so much. There's that one and that one. I'll have to decipher who is whose after. I see Leonard Nimoy's. But why does none look like William Shatner? Oh, that's it. That's Shatner. Can you guys see? Come on. Is it going blurry? Okay. What? That is amazing. Okay, I'm putting this up right here. Maybe. Right now. Okay. 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 Wow. Thank you so much. That is so thoughtful and generous of you and super, super cool. Um, that needs to go under plexiglass immediately. <laughs> um, agreed. I need to get one of those special cases. Um, okay. Oh, this is so annoying. Ah, okay. Not just the neck thing is so annoying. I just feel like I can't be, um, mobile note to whoever opens this box oh this is ron carpenter and ron carpenter i need to um i need to tell you that i quickly realized after the last live that the advent box calendar that you sent was not for my children and i think i said that and i apologize i quickly realized that it was not for kids but um something super special and elaborately put together and so the kids did not touch it after that don't you worry but it was it was amazing the time that went into each of those little boxes was truly 
amazing and kind. So thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> he's loved the comfort films crocodile dundee while you're sleeping happened one night and dave oh thank you there's i know there's a few packages from you in here so i'm excited to see okay um let's see here Box. Okay, and yes, we did have snow and so we immediately left into my Ron mobile and secured the local shop for winter coats. They were hard to find here in Texas. I did stumble across a stylish pair. I hate for my favorite YouTubers to turn into ice cubers. <laughs> I hope they fit you and Carly. Oh, look how cute these are. <gasps> Little skis. Oh, these will be the cutest Christmas tree ornaments. Thank you. <laughs> you are too funny. Um, We've got a pop. Ooh, some popcorn pens, it looks like. Pens? Straws. Pens. Oh, these are so cute. It's crazy how popular these little squishy toys are for kids like they go nuts over little squishies but they are like very cute and I feel like it might be like a stress reliever thing um popcorn erasers oh my gosh look at those like the individual kernels are oops where's my zoom the individual kernels like erasers you put on top of pencils wow <laughs> that's so cute um, where did the box for this go? Why did I already throw it down? Okay, did I? Okay. Um, Cassie's Big Old Book of War Stuff. Ooh, this will be good to read. I love that. I'm always looking for more um, history and knowledge about it. And this says card and envelope. Okay. This is so cute. Little mini card. Cassie, you mentioned during several reactions wanting to see Paris. That's where poodles and bichons come from. Maybe this will help get your trip started. Da -na 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 -na. Don't worry. Knife on hand. Oh! I, <laughs> I just got a glimpse of myself. I'm like... Oh, it's a soap dispenser Eiffel Tower with little Santas. That is darling. Cannot wait to add that to my Christmas decor. Um, thank you so much, Ron. You always find the cutest little stuff and put it together so nicely. Okay. Um, Ben said he's going to come in every 20 minutes to move packages out. There's also some giant gifts that I'm going to have to go out there to open and kind of bring stuff back in here as we go. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Um, crispy. Don't worry about your Star Trek watch. Your system is a good compromise. Besides there's always from the earth to the moon for full mini series watch through. Yes. I want to, I started watching that on my own, but then I was like, maybe I should do this for the channel. So I stopped and I really want to watch it again. It was so good. And I really like have loved all the space travel movies I've seen. Um, Mike Gallagher says, I remember while watching the original series with you that my late mother loved it too. Thank you so much for reviving those memories. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. My dad loved it too. So I mean, loves it. Um, it is kind of cool how, like, you'll see in my reaction, Worf comes on the screen and it was like, boom. And I like, had all these childhood memories like rush back of like remembering watching that with my dad. And I, I don't know. It's crazy how that can invoke memories and revive it for you. So um, it's something really fun. It's cool how movies and shows and stuff can connect us like that. 
dang it, I feel so sad when they don't come with a tag and I can't properly thank you. But this is 28 pullback cars. Uh oh, what? Wait, did I order these? No. I thought about getting these as Valentine's for my kids' class. You know, it's like the pullback cars. They're gonna love this. Thank you so much. 28 of them. I don't think I ordered them. But I did think about it. But I wouldn't have ordered it to my P.O. box. Okay. <clears throat> Where do I go first? Uh, okay. Let's go this, let's go this little bucket. Oh, look how cute. Okay. Yes. No note. Um. Okay, um, Dare and Dare said, are you open to watching K-drama? They're often a manageable number of episodes. Extraordinary Attorney Woo is a pretty fun starting point. That's so funny. Carly literally texted me yesterday. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Okay, one second. I just something with my kids. I have to text someone back. I'm so sorry. Um, one second. Okay, so sorry. Okay. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, oh, Matthew McConaughey, Woody Harrelson, True Detective. Ooh, it's like a um canvassy movie poster. That's really cool. They are looking good in that poster. Dang. I'm actually watching a Woody Harrelson movie here, hopefully tonight. Yes, tonight. White Men Can't Jump won our basket pole. Um, thank you to who sent this. I'm sorry it didn't come with a note. Um, <clears throat> I've heard True Detective season four is really good. Have you guys watched it or heard that? Um, no, no again, but we got some t-shirts. Oh, wait, that's cool. Okay, that's Spock's face in the outline. And then do you see, let's do a zoom. The detail on that, and this one's so soft. I love it. And then we've got, oh, these are cool ones. And you see how it's lots of little um, icons that make up the big one? Those are so cute. Little decals? Not quite, I know, but I just really wanted to use it. Um, Sahitya says, Place laptop on empty box to elevate to eye level. At least when looking at chat, you won't constantly bending the neck down. That's a good idea. I just, will it be covering my face? I guess I could do it to like here. Oh, should have lifted that. Okay, I'll wait for a big box. Almost, okay. Um. Mmm, that's one smells good. Hey Cassie, are you ready for smell a vision immersive PIB car ride experience to the popcorn mobile? The perfect auto accessory for a popcorn princess from Jason F. <laughs> Wait. Popcorn car air fresheners? It actually smells really good. Like, it doesn't smell like like butter. It's or even that's actually <laughs> the popcorn mobile. How do you guys even find this stuff? You're amazing. Thank you so much. Um, Katie, the Star Trek shirts are from you. Thank you so much. I love them. They're so cool and so soft. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there is a note in this one. Oh, do not bend. Okay, perfect. And this is from Toddzilla. Hey, I know you're here. I love that. 
do not cut. Do not open to live stream. Well, I didn't open to live stream. Oh, wow. Okay. Cassie, check out this Life magazine celebrating 70 years of Godzilla. I've also included a shirt you can proudly wear that features Vincent van Gogh's famous Godzilla night. Take care, Godzilla. Whoa. I Do you guys know? I have started collecting cool magazines from the movies I've watched. And I there's a couple up there. Oh, you can't see them. But I've got the It's a Wonderful Life one and Ford vs. Ferrari. And I will add this to my collection. And I... I know that it's not just you who loves Godzilla. There is um, definitely an idea coming to the channel soon. Oh yes, you know me. I got me another baby blue. I love it. Godzilla Van Gogh. <laughs> You're so kind for sending that. Thank you so much. Okay, I want to put this one somewhere safe so it doesn't bend. Hold, please. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is from moonpig.com. Oh, oh, it's a giant card. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. I'm here for you. Who said that? <laughs> to Cassie, I hope you have a wonderful you day. Birthdays are a great excuse to eat more cake. Happy birthday. Love, James M. That is so cute. I love this idea. Sending giant cards to people? Or how fun would these be for like, uh, to give to my kids to bring to their friends' birthday parties? I feel like they'd get such a kick out of that. Moo pig, if anyone wants to look into it. Okay. This is from, I don't know. Okay, hold on here. Okay, oh, these are uh, um, cards talking about The Chosen. I've been meaning to watch that. My in-laws love it. Um, oh yeah, it's all about The Chosen. Let's see, who is this, if we have a name. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, we're talking about Star Trek, Queen's Gambit. This is from Bernard. Oh, and he just put a lot of time into these. Um, I can't wait to read more about it. Hold on, there's also this. Twelve thousand extras expected to participate. Oh wow. Oh, look at these prints. Queen's Gambit. Oh, I needed some Queen's Gambit representation in all this. Very cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Have you guys watched this? Loved it? What are your thoughts? I've heard it's like just a really good, good show, you know? The writer director of Bull Durham made white men can't jump. Oh, I think I did read that in um, a Patreon comment, which made me more excited for white men can't jump because I really enjoyed Bull Durham and the dialogue and comedy. So I'm excited, actually. I was I was hoping a little bit that Air won, but my mom she was like, "I'm so sad. Finding Forrester isn't winning." She saw the poll. She loves Finding Forrester. So, um, oh, from Sean, there must have been something separate that explained to this, but a time magazine. This is so funny. I took a picture of this at the grocery store. I saw it recently, the 50 years I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Star Trek. And it is just, it was just after I started watching. Wow. They look so different. Um, I meant to post it on Instagram, but thank you for my collection. I know it's so fun to collect things. It's like makes you feel like a little kid again, kind of. Um,
moderate thoughts. Your participation, your presentation of Helix mattresses was fire. As an enterprise sales professional, it was truly delightful to watch. Mad respect. And no, a hot shower won't cut it. Your neck has to be submerged in water to affect the muscles. Okay, noted. I'm actually counting down the hours till I can get in a hot bath tonight. Um, but thank you for saying that about the ad. Guys, legitimately love that Helix mattress. Um, we moved it up to our room and it is so nice. I, I don't do ads lightly. I want you to know that. Even today, I was literally eating Factor right before this and I was like, they haven't renewed their contract with me this year yet. Hopefully they do, but I'm still buying it. So I hope you know that I only say yes to stuff that I think, um, you know, that I don't say yes to everything. I just want you to know that. And when I do do the ads, most of the time I really try to make them enjoyable and not phoning it in. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, thank you for saying that though. And thank you for the super chat. That is so kind. Oh, this one's cute. M movies, popcorn, and pajamas. My kind of shirt. They just need movies, popcorn, and pajamas, and bed. But I guess that's implied. This is so cute. Thank you so much. Whoever sent this, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what is with Amazon lately. But if you say send as gift, then it will usually always print out the little tag that, like these, that will say who it's from. And, but I know that people do press that sometimes and it still doesn't. This is from Tom N and says, when you're feeling a bit elegant and less practical. Ooh, okay, I know. Celeste has actually sent a couple of these and my daughter keeps commandeering them because they're so fun and cute, but it's just some little, you know, elegant. This is not gonna be, oh, yeah, okay, I was gonna have to use my teeth. Hmm? Speaking of these, Bridgerton season three comes out soon. You guys big Bridgerton watchers? <laughs> um, okay. Um, Tom Chang, since you liked Rocky, would you ever consider reacting to HBO's legendary night series, mini doc series on famous fights? Foreman versus Morer is amazing. Oh, I don't know. I, um... I have a hard time watching fighting and that's when it's like in the movies. I can't imagine in real life. Uh, sorry, this is, it doesn't say, but it looks like we've got popcorn pajama pants. These would be a first. Oh, Katie, you just said that shirt is for me and there should be a pair of popcorn pants that go with it. OMG. Oh my gosh. And these are actually so soft. Okay. Don't worry. I'll do a fashion show after on Instagram of the popcorn pants <laughs> and shirt together. Oh, Katie, you're so sweet. Thank you. Um, okay. Some people watch Bridgerton. It looks like, uh, I wonder if this is from you too, Katie. I don't know. This one is also very soft. Stop it right now. Oh, cutie little Star Trek PJs. Oh, Starling Academy. Guys, I actually love this. That is so cute. I can't wait to wear these on. Okay, I, I can't stop thinking about it because we just booked flights for a cousin girls trip next month to visit my cousin who lives in Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm just like picturing myself wearing these to our girls night and then being like Starfleet Academy and then me just telling them, you know, telling them about the good stuff. <clears throat> um, okay. Seven months. Oh, you've been a member. It seems like, oh, seems like 28 weeks. Wait, uh, anyways, thanks for all the effort. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Um, okay, this is from 
French. Oh, I think from New Zealand. Wow. Oh, guys, international mail is so kind. Has to go through customs and all that. Um, oh, it's a little Kiwiana uh, desk calendar with some very cute little drawings. And it looks like a maybe Australian vibe. And then New Zealand Vintage Posters 2024 calendar. Oh, these are cute. I feel like these would be so good to frame after, too. Do you know? I love when poster or calendars you can frame after. No? Double the... Oh. She... Yum. I wonder if this is... Australian licorice. Um, this one is raspberry. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yum. It's almost like you can still kind of taste like a black licorice, which I like black licorice, except that salted stuff I had once. Um. Okay. This is from Celeste. Oh, it's a Hallmark keepsake of the USS Enterprise. Look how cutie. Um, can you see it? I kind of want to take it out. Oh, oh, it's so tiny. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can put it on like a little keychain. Cutie pie. Thank you, Celeste. Oh, be careful with that. Hey. Okay. Hey, okay, last one in here is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, seize the time. Live now. Make now always the most precious time. Now will never come again. The inner light. Oh, which episode is that? I heard he gives amazing speeches. I've seen a couple, but, um, <laughs> I just in what world did I think I would be pumped about Star Wars shirts but I genuinely am this is so fun uh, I, like I said I hope my dad's watching that's his that's his captain okay um okay <clears throat> Larry Potter oh was so kind I always send you cash from this channel I guess it's Cash, that's kind of dull, though, but just got your post office box. No, no, no. Any Anything you ever send is amazing and generous, and don't ever, like, second guess how, um, you know, how much I appreciate it. I feel like I have to go so fast doing these because there's so much, but I hope it doesn't come across as um, not thankful because I... Cause I deeply am um thank you larry okay so i wanted to let you guys know hold on these are also from celeste what are these oh they're sunflower seeds Oh, that is so thoughtful. Do you know I got so into gardening last summer? It was so fun. Sorry, I'm reading something else. Um, thank you. Okay, this is from Zachary K. Just want you to combine with the musical DVD and the big long tube I sent. This, that makes quite the haul. This is for reducing my anxiety and depression due to my ongoing illness. Oh, how do you know these are one of my favorite candies? Thank you. Um, I might just have to have one right now. Um, oh, I saw. I said Star Wars. I meant Trek. You guys, you know, it's me. I. Ooh. Okay, so you must have sent a musical DVD 
and maybe did you send the True Detective poster or the Caitlyn basketball player poster? Mm. Are these Canadian? Cadbury UK. I bet that's why they're so good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. Zanzibar. Speaking of anniversaries, Miami Vice is 40 years old this year. It's as 80s as 80s get. That's a show, right? Or is it a movie? I've heard of it. Those 80s. Good day, Cassie and Carly. Is Where's this from? Australia. Oh. He said, your page first caught my attention on a boring night shift when I saw a link on YouTube for first time watching Star Wars. To be honest, I never expected I would enjoy such a channel. But something about what you guys are doing tapped into something I've always enjoyed about watching movies myself. And that's seeing how other people react and hopefully enjoy the same movies I do. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, and he said he attached a USB, which has um, more Australian movies on it. Um, he said, don't get me wrong, Paul Hogan is a national treasure in Crocodile Dundee, but there's also some amazing ones. Man from Snowy River, The Castle, The Dish. Okay, this is so nice. Okay, here's the flash drive. And then we've got... I would sing your song. I need to know it. These are so cute. My kids are gonna love that. And oh, I feel like the channel is working a little bit. I love Australia. Oh, I gotta get there one day. One of my um, cousins did med school there for five years and I really wanted to go when they were out there, but they just have the most, the best things to say. They had so much fun and loved raising like their kids for five years there. And one day, oh, sorry, that is something else. Okay. <clears throat> doesn't say who it's from but it's a um Romulan ale magnet <laughs> it's like a beer magnet but Romulan ale you guys are the best that's so cute okay and this is from well it just it says post this Posters Garage, but maybe Justin Marsh. I don't know. Let's see if there's a note. Steven. I think this is from a Steven. Okay. Where's the poster? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I can't bend that way. Hold on. Let's see if I can read backwards. It's the script from the ending of Silver Linings Playbook book. I know you wrote the letter. The only way you could meet my crazy was by doing something crazy yourself. Thank you. I love you. I knew it the minute I met you. I'm sorry it took so long. Oh my gosh. You wrote that a week ago? You love me? Yeah, I do. This is so cute and special. I adored that movie and that was the best scene thank you i think to steven possibly justin if you're on here let me know <clears throat> okay andrew when you were filming your first ever reaction did you have the next movies lined up or did you think you were doing it once i thought i was doing it once honestly you'll you'll see if you go back and watch shawshank redemption i did like didn't even do my hair or makeup. I like wore a grungy shirt and literally thought four people would see it. 
I was basically doing it to humor Ben because he would have these entrepreneurial ideas and I'm like not a risk taker. And so I'm like, no, let's just, let's just do the thing and get health insurance and get a stable job and which he, he did do that too. Um, but I, like I said, I did not want to take a risk, but I, I felt like I said no so much to his ideas that I was like, sure, I'll film myself watching a movie. And look at us now. Ben is the best. <laughs> Basically what that comes down to. Um, this is from Celeste. Ooh, the ethics of Star Trek. Trekker, Trekkies will want to beam this book up to their shelves. For Trekkies ever a fascinating look at the philosophy of Star Trek from Kirk and Spock to Janeway and Seven of Nine. You know, I've wondered about the ethics of Star Trek because I just love how they portray the world in such a... Oh crap, what's this from? Oh, that's the New Zealand one. Okay. In such a happy and peaceful future. Gives me hope. I don't know if that's exactly what it's talking about, the ethics of Star Trek, but you know what I mean. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Okay, this is from, I don't know, but we've got women's paratrooper poppies shirts. Oh, and there's two. It must be one for me and one for Carly's. Oh. That's so cute. We cherish, too, the poppy red that grows on fields where valor led. It seems to signal to the skies that blood of heroes never dies. Oh, and look, there's little paratroopers on the poppies. That's so sweet. I love that. So cute. Thank you. And very soft again. I'm, it's from Ranger Up. It seems like it's an organization or a company. Um, but thank you to whoever said that. <clears throat> okay, Rosario said I must once again insist on total recall. It will be the greatest reaction in the history of YouTube, and I guarantee new subs and Patreons up the wazoo. Okay, if you guarantee it, just kidding. Um, I think total recall is in the DVD poll today. So, what was the other one we talked about at the beginning? Now I can't remember, but it'd be cool if one we talked about got pulled. Okay. Goodness gracious. Ooh. TNG, baby. Let's see. Let's zoom here. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't put my neck like that. Sorry. Um, oh, Tasha. So far, I just love Data the most. And I did watch the YouTube clip um, that says, it's data, not data. What's the difference? One's my name and one isn't. <laughs> I tried to make a reel to it, like with that video going in the green screen and me reacting to that clip, but it didn't work. I need a, anyways, um, but don't worry, I know it's data now. But I love Picard too. And I love um, Riker. I'm really loving the beard in season two. Oh, hold on. This somehow got missed. It's just a DVD and this is from Rose. And she said, I've already sent my favorite horse movie of all time, The Black Stallion, but the author, Walter Farley, described Ruffian as the closest thing he'd ever seen to his fictional legend, The Black Stallion. Oh, cool. Okay, I got to write out a thing for the ruffian for our DVD poll before I do it. And I will. Okay, hold on. I read all the letters already before the live. This is, I don't know. There's a note. Ooh, a blanket. Very soft. Hold. Hold. What is this? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta get a better... I can't turn my neck. Oh, it's the searchers. Bill, is this from you? <laughs> oh, okay. I've now got a searcher's shirt. I'm pretty sure a searcher's hat and a searcher's blanket. Might be, might be time for a movie. Um, 
<clears throat> oh, hold on. Another one for me, Picard. The slips must have fallen out. Oh, dang it. I'm sorry they fell out, but thank you so much. I'm sorry you keep having to super chat telling me they're from you. Um, you are the best. Okay, this one's got a slip. This is a real dinosaur tooth. It's the dinosaur that swims from Jurassic World. I thought you and your kids would like this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Wait, an actual... How is it a real dinosaur tooth? Like, dug up from the ground? <gasps> the Mosasaur tooth and floating frame. All right, I gotta see this. I think my kids might be watching. <sighs> With their grandparents. What? <gasps> that is so cool. And it comes with um, a little frame to stand it up on. And free gift for purchase, fossil shark tooth. These also look real. Guys, I have a feeling um, this is gonna be what my kids wanna bring for show and tell next week. We've been talking about it. Um, that is very cool. They will, you were right. They will love that. I love that. I love this little, what in the world? Why is this backwards? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I'm losing it. That little guy from Jurassic Park, one of my faves. Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to give these back to the post office. The worker said I could take them when I was really struggling to bring everything up. She's like, just bring it back next time. We know you're good for it. They know me there, guys, now. I don't even have a show ID. Um, okay. Cassie the YouTuber. <laughs> uh, okay, this is from Ron. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, it's a lot of Christmas stuff. I feel bad. Oh, I also wanted to mention that there were a few things that we um, opened, that she, my, my cousin opened and gave to me and was like, this is candy, it needs to go in the fridge, or this is like something you should enjoy now. So there were a few things that I took out of the packages to, to make sure they didn't go bad, but, oh, guys, definitely saving these to put, give us gifts, oh, well, uh, I might just have to eat them. Red vines, another one of my favorites. Oh, still very fresh. <laughs> A dad joke book. What do snowmen do in their spare time? They just chill. Cute. Oh, and there was a note in here that said DVDs were also in this package from Anne. I mean, this is from Ron, but Anne told me that, and they're in the DVD pool. Okay, and I will bring read this after. Ooh, a fan guide, Lord of the Rings um, magazine. Ooh, these are high, some high quality shots in there. Love that. Um, new now showing unforgettable moments from the movies out sorry oh look we opened it right up to the rocky page that was unforgettable oh oh that's that's easy cast away <sighs> field of dreams very cool I love movie books. It's so fun. Oh, it scared me. Ooh, disappearing E. Jelly Belly Gumball Machine. Cute popcorn jelly bellies. And you mentioned when you feel down, you like to reread letters. I can well imagine you get them from all over. They seem to bring you joy and you do seem to like pink. So I thought this might be a way to keep them all safe on a shelf. I hope you don't think it's too presumptive of me, but I already put one of my own in the bottom of the box. Oh my gosh, it smells good in here. 
Oh, a oh, little popper toy. That's a great idea. Oh, and it says joy. I get it. Joy in pink. Oh, that's why it smells so good. It's got like a potpourri bag. And a letter. Oh. Thank you for believing in what you do. Your channel does far more than entertain. I can empathize because students ask why I don't teach at an easier campus. My answer is always the same. This is where I can have an impact doing something that feels meaningful. Oh, thank you so much. What a thoughtful package. <clears throat> and it really does smell divine. She... <laughs> she look at She wrote that. It smelled really good when I opened it. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oh, and in this, like, nice, concise box. Can we use... Put some more DVDs in. Okay. <sighs> okay, I know I'm behind. I'm so behind on chat. <sighs> okay. For the first time ever, I was hot before before start. I mean, I was cold down because now we're in the basement and it's much colder. But now I'm getting hot. And don't worry. Someone sent me a message said, "Don't forget your fan." So I found it. Okay, see? Uh, okay. Toddzilla heard the new Shogun is getting really good reviews. It's about a Dutch ship that wrecks in Japan and the adaptation to Japanese culture in the 1600s. Someone was just telling me about that. Um, one of Carly's friends was saying that they were watching it and it, that it was incredible. I will check that out. I think I told you guys I was watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which I loved. So watch it so we can talk about it. I thought it was just like a cute spin on the whole Mr. and Mrs. Smith um, thing. And the light, the leads were so, it's like um, Donald Glover and I'm not sure who the actress is, but they're just like so relatable and funny and... I don't know. I really liked it, but now I need a new show. So thank you. Okay. This is from Sean. Sean. Um, whenever I had a bad day, I watched PAB and cheers me up. Thank you for all the great reactions. I had these crystals made for you from 3d crystal. Got hot the calm to show my appreciation. Oh, okay. And he, I think he might've put DVDs in here too. Okay, that one says Carly. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Popcorn in bed, best sister duo reaction team, Cassie. Okay. My picture's on there. Wait, can you? I don't know if you can see it, but oh, it looks scary like that. It actually, like, it's very cool like i can see my eyes wow i did not know they could do that thank you okay now i kind of want to see carly's picture i was gonna let her open it but i mean she still can but i can sneak a peek right and it also came with um little easels looks like to display Oh, you picked like good pictures of us. <laughs> That's so cute. I don't think you, I don't think you can truly see it, but that I'll, I'll post picture close up. That was very thoughtful. Thank you so much. He gave some, um, suggestions as well. Um, I think you might have included the DVDs, or, but Ladder 49, wanted to see that one. Taken, saw that one actually. Okay. Thank you so much. Too close to my face. <sighs> okay. How are we doing, guys? 
Nathan Jasper, thank you for putting up with all of us, especially when we're at our worst and always showing us how to be better. You're absolutely priceless and I hope you keep reacting for years to come. The world needs people like you. Well, that is just so kind of you to say. Thank you, Nathan. And that just reminded me, I think I missed a comment from you um, earlier. Yes, sorry, no Doctor Who stuff this time. I'm such a slacker, I know. Going on 13 months as a member, I've loved being here. Well, you are just so sweet to say that. Thank you. Oh, he, and then you said, the silver lining script is for me. That movie is so dear to me, and seeing you react to it really made my year. Oh, I love that. I, I... I keep talking to people about it. They're like, yeah, that came out forever ago. You're, and I'm like, I know. <laughs> but it was so good. It was so good. James Maitland, this is for Ben the Hand Solo. Thank you for everything you do. And thanks for making Cassie start the channel. Wow, James, that is so kind. I know. He does, you guys, he does. He's going to hate me for getting like, he does so much. Like last night, he was up till two, I think, just waiting for the new Star Trek episodes to finish encoding and finish processing. But they never did. And like, he just does, he's doing stuff all the time for the channel and literally could not do it without him. 100,000%. He does more than I do. Um, okay. These are heavy. <laughs> I can't move them. Hold on one second. I'm trying to hide an address. Gotta go this way. I think it's right here. Okay. This is from... I don't know. Whew. Hold on. Ow. <laughs> I feel like I did something to it again. I'm trying to move this box. Okay. Okay, I do not see a note or a return address. But we've got the Book of Signs, 31 Undeniable Prophecies of the Apocalypse. Oh boy. Is this like real? I think so. <laughs> don't tell me about the box. Guys, I don't have enough food storage, okay? It can't happen yet. Oh, and a study Bible. There's three of these and three of the apocalypse books. So always good to be prepared. Good reminder. Um, never know. Um, okay. I'm, I need to move those off the bed, but they're too heavy. So. Okay, um, Uncle Phoenix also said thanks to Ben for making popcorn start the channel. I know. Thank you. That's so sweet of you guys. Okay, Cassie, if there's a K-drama for you and Carly to check out, please consider It's Okay to Not Be Okay. It's brilliant and unique and powerful. <gasps> Thank you, RJ. Wait a second. Why did I get so distracted? I was going to tell you the one that Carly was literally texting me about. She said, hey, my friend was telling me about the show and I didn't want to watch it, but then I did... And it's so good. What is it? Land crash landing on you. Have you guys heard of it? Put post office box under laptop. Good idea. He's just taking care of me. Okay. Maybe on top of the table under the laptop. Oh, that might be too high. How much higher is it than the table? A little bit. Okay. Hold please. Charger, knife, AirPod, fan, you know, everything you need. Oh, that is better, actually. I'm not having to look down nearly as much. And you can still see me. Thank you. Sahitya, that is so smart. Okay, you guys are looking out for me. Um, John, Cassie, tell us about Dune 2. And what books for book club recently? <gasps> okay, I am not gonna tell you because I'm gonna make a little video on Instagram, like my thoughts on it, because I have so many. Guys, it was so good, it was so good. I loved it. 
Um, but I want to do a little like review on Instagram and, um, but I will tell you that I loved it and I wanted Dune 3 to start immediately and it was three hours and I was sad. I wanted it to keep going. Holy crap. This hurts. Okay. Hold on one second. Um, book club. We just read a book by Kristen Hanna called The Women and this one was about the Vietnam War and, um, we haven't, the book club is this week, but it was a really, really, really good book, but really, really sad. I, it was a lot about the experience of, she was a combat nurse in Vietnam, and then half of the book is like her experience there, and then half the book is when she comes home. And I, I knew there were like protests against the war, but, and maybe this was dramatized, I don't know, but I didn't realize that like, there were protests against the actual soldiers. Like she got off the train in her army uniform and people were spitting on her and like, like calling her baby killer. And like, I can't fathom. Like you just went through hell. Like she was literally going through hell out there serving her country and people were mad at her. It just like blew my mind. And then the media was also lying about it. And so she was like, trying to get help. And she was like, I was in Vietnam. I was a veteran. And they're like, no, you're not. There was no women in Vietnam. She's like, I was literally there for two years, like holding body parts in my hands. And they're like, no, there was no women in Vietnam. Anyways, it was very good. And I'm actually really excited for the book club discussion. And I feel, <laughs> I feel like I can kind of be, you know, I, I, I'm interested to see what my friends know about the Vietnam War and like be able to tell them a little bit about what I've learned watching the few movies that I have about it and whatnot. Um, thanks, John. Okay, Chris Clark, he gifted a popcorn membership. That's so sweet. Um, Craig Peter, if you enjoy TV series based on real lives, check out All Creatures Great and Small based on the books by veterinary surgeon James Harriot tells a story about his life as a vet in Yorkshire before World War II, 1978. Series is beautiful. Oh, that sounds like, like a sweet, heartwarming series. My grandpa was a veterinarian, a large animal veterinarian, so I feel like I would like that. Um, okay, should I do this one? Okay, this is from Ron C. again, and my cousin kind of told me about this one, and it's basically just, it looks like he said it's a box for your daughter, because, like, the boys always get, like, you know, they want to play with, like, the Predator toys and the Captain America stuff, but, um, it seems like the boys get tons of goodies, uh, until you saw the unicorn stocking. I sent for the sister who spilled water on your puzzle. That's my little sister, Haley. A, d a daughter is hardly mentioned. Maybe this storm of unicorns will make her even. Oh, he wrote a little mystery for her. It is literally a box full of unicorns. I wonder if she's watching unicorn coloring book, unicorn um, folder, unicorn fruit snacks unicorn headband oh boy a unicorn squishy she's gonna die <laughs> this is so sweet oh a giant cupcake box what a cutie oh palm pals unicorn this one's cute and so soft what the heck this is the cutest box ever. Did you make that? And there's one more box. Unicorn sleep mask. <laughs> she is going to die. Unicorn notebooks, pencils, keychain, unicorn ch chocolate coins. Oh my gosh. Your mom is a pretty special YouTuber. I figured you must be special too. Oh, guys, I might have to save some of this for her birthday because she can't be this spoiled. <laughs> Thank you. That was so sweet of you and a huge package. Um, okay. Uh, oh yeah, it's pretty light. Okay. 
Okay, we're doing good. This is from Ike. Popcorn in bed, pain index check. Sorry, worried about your neck. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Um, I thought it was bad for a second when I tried to move that box, but it's actually, it's actually okay. I can go all the way, I just can't go this way. Only a little bit. Um, it's just, but like, I wonder if you can see on here. Can you see the slant in my, you can't really see, but I was looking at myself and I was like, this, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Womp womp. Okay. This is from Wesley W. This was initially part of my Christmas package to you and Carly, but since you two are jumping ahead, here you go. Well, I hope you can hold off on watching Mummy Returns until these get to you. Oh, I remember these came like the day after we watched it. It was so sad. But still, awesome shirts. So cool. The Mummy Returns. Oh, that one was. Mummy, the Mummy movies were good. They were really fun to watch. Love Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weiss in those. Thank you, Wesley. Okay. This is from Mike. Um, <clears throat> oh. Okay, his his DVD was put in the DVD poll, and it was an anime. Um, this is a movie called My Hero Academia. It's my favorite show of all time. Oh, it's a show. It has six seasons, so it wasn't put in the DVD poll then. Um, it's on Hulu with English dub, and has done three movies. This is the first. Okay, it is a, it is a movie. Sorry. Um, watching this made me have to watch the series. Also, now that you have seen Tron, I've sent him along to go with the others I sent before. I also sent a few My Hero characters. Oh... These must be the characters. See, this is the stuff my boys love. This is so cute. Cuties, little guys from the, have you guys heard of that? My Hero Academia? Cassie, drink more water. <laughs> Sound like Ben. <laughs> I could literally be like, I'm in pain, I'm having a baby. And you'd be like, did you drink water? <laughs> okay. Okay, this is from Kirk and Dawn. Oh, oh, Van Winkle, you sent the candy. She gave me the candy and it was delicious. They have a candy company. I just recognized the name Van Winkle because I remembered on the candy boxes. Um, this is for Ben. Oh. In Arachnophobia, your entrance was perfectly timed and although very subtle, left an indelible impression on all of your viewers as well as your wife. <laughs> I believe Anthony Hopkins still holds the record for least amount of screen time while winning a major award until now. <laughs> I'm sure no actor has ever won an award while never appearing on a screen and only uttering two words. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, the candy was so good. I love the peanut butter. Um, oh, a cute little popcorn guy. I thought you could use this as a squeezable stress reducer. Heaven knows I need that, especially in something like arachnophobia. I think they were all... Oh, yeah. They were... Yeah, okay. And this is for Ben. Use extra paper. Please open carefully. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, you've got to see this. They made it. It's so cute. Hold on, zoom. Can you see this little guy? 2024 Poppy's best supporting actor in a jump scare, Ben Arachnophobia, best supporting actor. <laughs> that is so clever how you did this. That's so cute, thank you. Put it next to my Poppy, okay? Well, be careful, okay, 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 okay. You guys should go check out their candy and chocolate. Van Winkle candies, I think. Tell me if you're on here and that's right. Or okay, thank you. Okay. Um. Uh okay. Um. I know, but there's so many packages, so I don't think I can take a break. But thank you, James. I will. I will take a break. 
Once I need, um, I have to go to the bathroom really bad. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. This is from Zachary K. Ooh. Okay. So he said a bunch of DVDs. She said, as well as candy, movie candy. Hold on. We got Twizzlers. Oh, it's Sharon Tate. Oh, she was so cute. Okay, he sent some good ones. I saw these in the pile. Country Strong, The Reader, Patriot. Oh, I mean Detroit. January 24th was Sharon Tate's birthday. Oh. Okay, we've also got Gummy Worms. Classic jelly beans, M&M's, gummies, and looks like popcorn. Salted caramel, caramel cheddar, chocolate drizzle. Ooh, I've been liking that chocolate drizzle lately. The zebra, I think they call it. Um, thank you. I do need to watch another Sharon Tate movie. Well, a Sharon Tate movie. I guess Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is te not technically a Sharon Tate movie. Um, John, everyone hydrate. Self-care is essential. Love you all. <laughs> good reminder. Cheers. I actually got a drink this time, so that's a good step for me. Um, okay. Ooh, this looks like another international one, maybe? Nope. Just um, LA from John L. And okay, he says over four decades ago, I was in college. I remembered a specific book, I can't recall the name of the bookstore. I lost my copy long ago, but of curiosity, I thought it could be on Amazon, and it was. This Star Trek, or Star Book, provides a comprehensive history of all things Star Trek. However, remember, it was written in 1980. That means they only have the first Star Trek movie as a reference. Wow, no Wrath of Khan or Star Trek 3 through 6, no Deck Generation TV episodes. Oh, okay, and he said he thinks he's really, I'm really going to like the Chris Pine Star Trek. Oh, and he's a history teacher in of 35 years, a secondary history teacher, and he would like to recommend a teacher poll, which we talked about. Um, Teacher's Day is May 7th, and he, yes, he included some DVDs. He talks about Mr. Holland's Opus, which is attached to number one seed, Yukon, in our bracket. So it has a very good chance. Freedom Writers Stand and Deliver. Um, okay, this is vintage. How cool. This is after only one movie. Look at that warp cruiser. Sublight transport. Like, this is cool. I, I love that. And I, I am going to do a teacher's poll. If I forget someone, remind me, okay? Hey, Ben, if you're watching, it might be time to do another clearing. Um and come lift these Bibles for me. Okay. Um, okay. And when he does that, I'm going to go out there and do one of the big packages. Okay. This is from J sensory and Oh, okay. I think let's see to the hand of Ben. <laughs> He sent Ben some jelly beans. Hush for a few minutes, darling pills. <laughs> um, this is says to Cassie and Carly. Well, it says Carla. I think I think that's an inside joke. These are snacks that I've painstakingly imported from your distant and exotic land. Many goose bites were endured to secure these luxury delights. Ooh, Canadian snacks! Oh my gosh, if you are Canadian, do you remember these? These are one of those things that 
We get these all the time in our Halloween bags. They're actually good. They are probably so terrible for you, but they are good. Oh, this brand is also really good. Pure. Ooh, wine gums. My brother loves those. I actually love these crispers. US, US should get those. Fuzzy peaches, one of my favorites. Swedish berries, those are Carly's favorite. Hey, yum. Bear paws, my father-in-law loves these. He's from, he's from Quebec as well, he's Ben. Um, that is so kind, thank you so much. Oh, he also sent, and Anne told me this, two unboxing cousins sent her a box of fancy chocolate. So that is so thoughtful of you. Okay, I'm very excited about that, those treats. Thank you. Okay. How are we doing? Um... Okay, two Changs. My friend's movie, Drugstore June, just came out on Apple and she's having her baby next week. Would be amazing if you reacted it, reacted to it someday. <gasps> Drugstore June, oh, I'll check that out. That's so cool. Wait, like she's in it? Or um, she like produced it? Oh, congratulations on her baby next week. Thank you. Jay Bling says, what if you were going to do the Austin Powers sequel soon? Be warm, more extreme bathroom humor. Oh boy, <laughs> um, I'm definitely not opposed to it at all. We need to have like a sequels poll again because there's so many I need to get to, too many. Okay, this is from Leon W. Ooh, look at this, the Star Trek Next Generation motion picture collection and it's like, um, it's like holographic, can you see? It's got plastic on it, but like, that's cool. I love that. I oh, it's a captain's log notebook. United Federations of Planets. Guys, these are good gift ideas for your trek trekkie lovers. How cute is that? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Starfleet Academy. United Federation of Planets. This will certify Cassie VIB as a graduate of Starfleet Academy. Like it's a legit diploma. I love that. This one. Ooh, Starship Captain. I don't think I've up got to that rank yet. <laughs> but you can get a Starfleet Captain thing. And they come in this fancy thing. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It is a autographed picture of the um, cast. Okay. And look at this one. And the Next Generation cast. I wonder if he owns these and, and, and printed them for me. Or if you can buy... I don't think there's a letter. This is just empty. But wow, these are amazing. I can't wait to hang these up. I haven't seen her in season two yet. I might have to read about that if she's gone. Like I said, Riker with the beard. Um, wow, these are really cute gifts. Thank you so much. Ben, it's getting real big pile of, over here. Okay, um, Wesley, you're welcome, Kaz. I forgot about the package with the mummy return shirt, so you don't already open it. Glad you like them. Um, Nathan Jasser, do you need or like to have cookbooks? I saw a few I thought you might, but wasn't sure at the time. I, I, I do like to cook. I like to bake more than I like to cook. But I've got some really cool cookbooks throughout the years, like Disney cookbook, Harry Potter cookbook, Godfather cookbook, um, which I need to I need to experiment more. Um, oh, these Bibles. Okay, lately I feel like 
I'm making the same thing over and over. So I need to sit down and go through my recipe or cookbooks and find some new fun recipes. Um, this is from Scott C. <laughs> <laughs> okay he sent a lot of dvds look at she said and lots of dvds i sent even more dvds in a previous shipment oh he said he's oh this is from katie okay 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 uh, sorry it said something different on on the box okay this is so cute oh hi Deanna her sister okay yes Katie I I think I pulled one of your DVDs last time ransom was yours right which I ended up adoring okay so the PJs were from you too you're the best movie night host Ooh, love it you find good shirts girl thank you Katie and Deanna and family you guys are so sweet um okay Steve Palmer, what are some of Ben's favorite snacks so we can send him something to enjoy as well? <sighs> Guys, Ben is annoying because <laughs> she's not, he's not annoying. He, <laughs> he is not a sweet tooth like me. And so like, I will bake a cake and it will sit there on the counter and it is like calling my name, like takes everything in me not to eat the whole entire cake for every meal. And he's just like, mm. or like, I'm like, do you want to get dessert at a restaurant? He's like, no, I'd rather just like get another burger. Like he just, he's not a huge sweet tooth, but um, there are a few things he likes. He likes Snickers. Snickers are his favorite. And Reese's cups. If, but like, I don't know. Just send him burgers, I guess. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, this is from Scott Curry. Okay, I think a box might have been switched around. Sorry, Katie, if that was confusing. This is from Scott Curry, and this was probably what was in that box. Okay. Our, oh wait, I better read this because this might say what this is. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hopefully this crumb. It was mentioned that you all be taking your first trip to Disney World next year. Very exciting. Since you don't want to forget a milestone as big as this, I've included a gift to help you cherish and reminisce about it for years to come. Thanks again for all the time, hard work, and sacrifice that you put into the channel. May it continue to grow and thrive. Have a Merry Christmas and a great time in Florida. Be sure to take plenty of pictures. Oh my goodness. This is like a wood, like engraved um, photo album. Right? That's so cute. Our magical family story, Walt Disney World. Stop! That is so thoughtful. And this is so cool. Like, it's actually, like, indented and engraved in here. That is so cute! Oh, my God, that's gonna make me print my pictures, and I love that. I love that. I love memory books and stuff like this. It's, like, one of my kids' favorite things to do. I subscribe to chat books. Have you guys heard of it? It's, like, a they just like print your personal Instagram pictures and little books. Every time you get 60, they send a new little book and my kids just will sit for hours and look through them. And it's so sweet. It's like basically our version of home videos. <clears throat> um, okay. Clay F. I sent the true detective canvas hoser. I hope no PTSD. Your reaction to season one was so good. Oh, thank you. I, that show was so good. Like, so well done and acted and all of the above. I kind of do want to watch more seasons, but I can't watch it on my own because I'm too scared to like watch it at night by myself. So I'm going to have to watch it with you guys, I guess. Maybe I'll do season four. Jodie Foster. I heard it's amazing. Okay. This is from John C. What do you give a woman who has everything? <laughs> Not quite. I decided that giving you something I made would be just the thing. To please my favorite girl this Christmas. Blah, 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 blah. And if I only make up with him, then one day he reacted on your channel. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. I think I'm getting mixed up. 
because this is from John C. I think this is something. This is this is something from Australia. Oh no! Okay, don't worry. I'll figure this out. Crap. Sorry, guys. Um, this letter must have got misplaced into this box, but I don't know what goes with this letter. I'm gonna have to reach out to John C. Okay. Okay. I'll put that there. Just remember. So sorry. Okay. Dang it. Um, this is from John H. Wait, this is from John C. Well, now I'm confused. Is he from Australia? Okay. We're okay. Just different names, but look. This is something he made by John Cranberry. Okay. This is a book he must have written. Amazing. What? You are a published author. So cool. Oh, and a little Australian stocking. That is so sweet. Okay, sorry guys. I don't know why I got so confused. Okay. It's because it's, this one says John H, but the email is John Cranberry. Anyways, that is, I'm glad I did not lose your package. And wow, congrats on your book. And fingers crossed it does become a movie one day. How cool would that be? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick be right back. And, um, oh crap, hold on. I'm gonna get these for a second. Um, Tara, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Ben, the sun's getting real low, big fella. Tara says, because you liked Ocean's Eleven and The Sting, you would like the show Leverage. It's about a, a team who their skills, who use their skills to take down bad guys. Ooh, so it's like a heist kind of, because I know Ocean's and Sting are heist. I do love a heist. We had, we've had a couple heist pulls. Okay. I'm going to be right back real quick. Going to, um, go to the bathroom and I'll be back in five. Okay. And just get these out of the way and, um, don't leave. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. been a Baggins living here under the hill in Bag End. There always will be.
Welcome to Rivendell, Frodo Baggins.
You guys still here? <sighs> took, took some more ibuprofen. Hopefully that's okay to mix with the Tylenol 3. If there's any doctors in here, can you advise? Oh, um, feel like I have an earache on this side now. Is that even, can those be related? I don't know. I feel like it's just this whole side. Okay, um, okay. Let's do, because we're about halfway, and if you're thinking, oh my gosh, we're only halfway, I'm going to kill myself, then I'm sorry, I'm I'm going to try and go faster, and don't, I, I, I'm sick of myself, so I get it. If you need to go, go. I'm sorry if you're waiting for me to open your package, but I thought about halfway, let's, um, sorry, let's do the DVD poll now, so that we can put a poll in the chat. And that way, um, we can have the whole time to see how the vote goes. Oh, I lost 109 people. Don't tell me that. <laughs> now I'm self-conscious. Okay. Guys, um, I just pulled up the bracket, too. So, we've got... I don't know if these are today, but we've got Mr. Holland's Opus... Yukon versus Northwestern Gattaca. Training Day versus Da Vinci Code. And 13 was an upset. They beat um, Auburn, number four, which was crazy. Go Yale. Duquesne, No Country for Old Men versus Illinois Thomas Crown Affair. Washington State Lost in Translation versus number two, Iowa State Rounders. So that's the drama one. Um, I'll, I'll update the other ones in a second, but let's do our first drawing okay we got some good dvds this time and so i'm confident about this um poll i think it's gonna be tough to beat um okay first one no way out oh that's the kevin costner one am i going to kevin costner heavy on the channel just tell me tell me if it's true no Way Out. Okay. I've heard that's a really good uh, thriller. Suspense. So that's exciting. Um, okay. Let's try another one. Dun, 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 Come on. Uh oh, there's two. There's four. Ah, okay, hold on. A Civil Action? I don't know that one. A Civil Action. Maybe you guys can tell me what that one's about. Um, okay. Yes, too much Costner. Ah! <laughs> I told you to tell me the truth. It's okay. I get it. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I've got one. Civil action. What is it? Stargate. Weren't we talking about it? Wait, is Stargate still in? I swear they were on the bracket. Let me look. Guys, Arizona Uncle Buck beat Monty Python and the Holy Grail. They're in the semifinals already. <gasps> Uncle Buck is in the semifinals. It would be in... It would be in this one over here. Hold on. We've got... Ready Player One against Stardust. Children of Men versus Total Recall. War of the Worlds versus Wonder Woman, Face Off versus The Rocketeer. Okay, maybe Stargate wasn't on here. But okay, Stargate, Civil Action, No Way Out. And our last one is. Dun, 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 dun. Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise. Why can't I think about who's in that one? Okay, I'm going to put up the poll. 
I actually think this is going to be close. Start a pull. Ooh, this keyboard is very clicky compared to mine. Okay, start pull. Should we do a wild card pick just for fun? With no promises, but a maybes? I really like pulling things out of here. Okay. Civil action, Travolta, contaminated water supply leads to legal drama. Ooh, Aaron Brockovich S. Okay, here we go. Constantine. I'm surprised I let this get in there. <laughs> it's a scary movie but I know Colton loves it and I trust Colton and it's Keanu Reeves and I love Keanu Reeves so I think we just might have nailed down a for sure for October all right let's see what's gonna win oh my gosh guys okay this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I've got a bunch of big ones out there so I'm going to do a couple of those so it's not all the big ones at the end. Um, so what I'm going to do is open it and bring it in, I think. Okay, hold please. I, I, we'll see how we're going to do this. Okay. Okay. This one is so sweet. It's from Scott C. And he said, hi, Carly, I heard you had a little trouble with American Airlines. Well, nobody messes with Team PIB and gets away with it. Hopefully this gift will have you flying the friendly skies again soon. Merry Christmas. And guys, he sent her a brand new suitcase. Um, would you believe me if I told you that she is still fighting with American Airlines to get a fraction of what she lost go check my Instagram or her Instagram if you don't know the story but basically see how this luggage is like a top half and a bottom half well one half was was just cut off and gone who knows where someone has Carly's shoes is somewhere hopefully they were needed but anyways he sent her a brand new suitcase and that is just the sweetest thing thank you missing too much okay okay this is from Wesley um I know I know you're on here and you're the sweetest okay number one what I made in support for your little sister I want you to have it oh this is for the autism walk you did Okay, so he taped on these little autism walk um, pom-poms, so cute, and his sign that he walked with, I think, and this is for my little sister and Team Haley. Oh my gosh, Wesley, that makes so so nice oh my gosh um I just not I I can't even tell you how sweet that is this says to Cassie and Carly from my last trip to Universal and a matching set for a future reaction this Halloween Ooh. okay we've got 
Ooh, Gryffindor? So cute. Right? That's what that is, right? Yes, yes. Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh, so cool. Matching. Okay, Carly's going to love this. I mean, I love it too, but I also know Carly's going to love it. We've got Van Helsing. Oh, that's what you're talking about. I was trying to figure out why Gryffindor goes with Halloween. Okay, now I get it. Van Helsing. Okay, matching Van Helsing shirts. We've got, let's see here. Hold on. Oh, little Dobby. For one for me, one for Carl. This is so kind. Um, okay, let's see. Number seven. I'm sorry, these were opened, but I have not seen them. Remember, two Cassie got to go match with your respective house shirt. Ah! Yes! I've actually always wanted one of these Gryffindor scarves. I thought they were so cute in the movie when they were outside at the Quidditch games and their little um, Gryffindor show. Oh, sorry, my big butt. Okay, love these. Um, okay. Some more Lord of the Ring fun and a shirt to help celebrate 70 years of the King of the Monsters. Oh, I think I know what that means. Ooh, the ladies of Lord of the Rings. I love that. I am into it. So cute. I want to be an elf. Um, and yes, okay, more Godzilla shirts. Guys, this might be a sign from you and Todd, Zilla. The 70th anniversary? That's crazy! That actually would be a good time for a reaction. Ooh, more Lord of the Rings. You shall not pass. Oh, so good! And, oh, sorry, this is hurting my arm holding them up like that. Okay, I'm going to hold them in front of me so I don't have to look. Nope, still got to look. Okay. <laughs> May the best dwarf win. Oh, I love Kimberly so much. Oh my goodness, this is like the never ending present. Okay, let's see. This is to Carly. Some Lord of the Rings fun. Hope you like these. I'm just gonna open them for her. She's she's not gonna be mad. Ooh. Arwen. Not Arwen. Eowyn. She's bad Lord of the Rings fan. Eowyn. So gorgeous. Oh boy. Speaking of gorgeous, our man, Aragorn. And never forget, Legolas. Ooh, this is so cute. I love the color. She's going to love those. Put them right here. I mean, Make sure she gets all of this. Okay, technically these are all yours, but the white one is for Carly if she wants it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hide and seek. Detective agency. Oh, it's the Three Stooges. I know you love them. Cute. I gotta watch some of these. Okay, the white one for Carly if she wants it. Cute. These guys. I think they're going to remind me of Abbott and Costello, which I adored as a kid and like have a very strong memory of peeing my pants laughing so hard. So, um, I think I need to, um, do that to Cassie, yours and mine favorite character from Lord of the Rings and a little surprise from Universal. If you open the box. Ooh, okay. Oh, Aragorn, a pop, a, what are the, a pop, pop, Funko pop. Gosh. Okay. Oh, he's, he's even cute as a Funko Pop. Okay, and he said a little surprise from Universal if you open the box. <gasps> oh, it's a Harry Potter keychain with my name on it. And it's a spinny one. Oh, I gotta zoom on this crap. Hold on. Not crap, like, you know, zoom on this good, good crap, good stuff. You know what I mean. Mean cam. Nope. Zoom cam. Okay. Okay. Aragorn. And it... A Cassie keychain? They don't usually have Cassie at these name places. It's usually Cassidy 
or Cassandra, but never just Cassie. So great find. That is wonderful. Okay, let's see. Um, this is for Carly. Carly's favorite Lord of the Rings character. I think, yeah, okay, I needed to make sure. It's Legolas. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little guy. Whoops. Whoops. Zoom cam. There we go. So cute. Oh, it's going to be like Christmas for Carly when she gets back. Um, let's see. To Cassie Carly from the land of Disney, and I went when I went to support autism and your little sister. Oh, why are you so kind? Okay. Oh, I love this shirt. Disneyland. Oh gosh, I'm bad at this. Okay. Cute. One for me. One for Carly. Guys, who votes that I just kidnap Carly and take her to Disneyland? Because. I've never been with her, and I really, really, really want to. Oh, Running on Kindness Autism Speaks. I love that. These are very nice shirts, too. Very soft. I love a soft shirt. Okay. We've also got... Ooh. Cookie Butter Werther's. Oh, my. I love Werther's. I've never had cookie butter. What good is your channel without popcorn? Oh, I'm kind of making a mess. Oh, it's Disney Wish Caramel Glitter Popcorn. I just watched this movie for the first time with my little girl, and it's so cute, actually. Glitter popcorn? Oh my gosh, she's going to die. Okay, this is for to Cassie and Carly, so with matching sets containing your birthstones and turtle charity wristbands. Plus Rapunzel saying hello. Oh my heavens. Okay, okay. OMG. January Mickey Burstone. Are you kidding? Rapunzel pin. This is the Turtle Charity Bracelets. Those are so cute. And December Mickey Birthstone. What the heck? And a December necklace. This is so darling. And earrings for Carly, too, with January. Oh, okay. It's official. We're going to Disney just so she can wear that. Um... And some treats, some sweet treats from Universal in the Land of Potter. Ooh. Okay, we've got fudge flies from Harry Potter Land. And peppermint toads. Oh my, I can't wait till my boys get home to show them these. They love Harry Potter. They're on the sixth book right now. Um, okay, read me first. Oh crap, I hope I wasn't supposed to read you very, very first. Um, you have very nice writing, Wesley. Oh, felt a bond of true friendship in my heart. You two have brought so many smiles, laughter, and joy. Can't tell you how blessed I am to have you in my life. Hope someday I may have the honor of meeting you both face to face. What better place than Disneyland? Oh, you are so kind. Okay, okay, more. With these fancy, sweet card, the best kind of sisters. Oh, oh my gosh. Like really nice writing. Okay, you are Oh, thank you for being the sisters I never had. You were so sweet. I'm going to read all those in more depth later, but there's one more I saw. Hold on. Okay.
This is him on the walk. I don't know if you want me to show your face on the internet, Wesley, but these are going to make me cry. That you held up a sign for Haley there was just the sweetest. Oh, this looks like a really special event. Okay, I'll show this picture. But can you see the crowd with all the blue and pink pom-poms? Oh, Wesley, that was so nice. Thank you. My goodness. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Going back to main cam here. Okay, oh, too, too close. That was really sweet, Wesley. Thank you so much. I can't even tell you how much that means to me. Um, and to see that picture with you and the sign just really, my goodness. Um, okay. Okay. Whew. Gold Coast Bill. If you are interested in the Vietnam War, hold on, hold on. I gotta expand this. Let's read the rest. I'm looking for a different point of view. Try Danger Close, an Australian movie about the definitive battle that Australia and New Zealand forces fought in Vietnam. Oh, I would love to, love to um, see that. Because um, I don't know anything about that. And that sounds amazing. Um, Sahitja, chiropractor, number one chiropractor. Number two, ibuprofen is fine. Number three, three idiots reaction for one million views. Number four, what reaction, not bat slash China, has largest difference in opinion with members versus you, i.e. dirty dancing, you loved it, <laughs> me, hot garbage. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Okay, at least I didn't say... <laughs> uh, okay, I see what you're saying. Big trouble in little China has largest difference in opinion with members versus you. Okay, what reaction? Okay, not Big Trouble in Little China has the largest difference in opinion with members versus you. I love Dirty Dancing. You thought it was hot garbage. I don't, I don't know. I mean, Pulp Fiction maybe, or um, Batman 89, or yeah, probably those two. I don't know, Red Dawn was another one that was hard for me, but people seem to really have a connection to. Um, not hot garbage. <laughs> oh, that cracked me up. Okay. Andrew, what a good idea. He says, will this be the year we finally get the Lord of the Rings behind the scenes videos? Yes! I want to watch those so bad. I just, I've been thinking about it every time I see something Lord of the Rings, if nothing else, during a Patreon hangout. How fun would that be? We could do, we watch that during a Patreon, Extra Butter. And maybe, you know, I still record it and put it on YouTube for others to enjoy. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh, Fifth Element. Yes. That one too. Yeah. And maybe, um... Everyone's saying Fifth Element. I know. I didn't hate it. <laughs> I just, maybe I don't have, you know, I kind of actually feel like Fifth Element and Big Trouble in Little China have a similar type of humor, humor and I'm just missing that funny bone. And that's on me. That's a me problem, okay? So, <laughs> okay, this is from Scott B. Ooh. Okay. Merry Christmas! Can't believe you never saw the Disney classic Robin Hood before. Here are some of my Robin prints for you and your family. Please let me know when you tackle Lilo and Stitch. I always enjoy your videos. They help me get through many an artist block, especially the Halloween ones. You should watch with your sister Abbott Costello. Meet Frankenstein. Um, I hope you have a joyful Christmas season. Scotty B. Okay, he is an artist and looks incredible, guys. Oh, yes! I've seen your comics before! Okay, wait. And I think... There must be, wait, hold on, I don't want to hurt these, okay, 
what these are incredible i cannot even fathom the talent like look at the ground you did make that all individually the little shading and these are so sweet keep on rocking scotty b oh my gosh thank you i've actually seen lilo and stitch um with my kids we watched it recently and stitch is like having a moment right now have you guys noticed like all the stitch merchandise in all the stores and my little cousins are all wearing stitch shirts i'm like where did this come from this movie is from forever ago um okay <clears throat> Guys, just for fun, I think I'm going to continue watching Batman. I, I, just because I didn't love the first movie doesn't mean I won't like the other ones. And I'd love to see Val Kilmer as Batman and who else? Ben Affleck? Val Kilmer, Michael Keaton, Christian Bale. I'm missing one. Okay. This is from Jason F. He must give credit to David S. on Patreon for this idea. Here's a 20-sided dice for you to use in Pick'em games. Pink, of course. Come on, number seven. Sorry, wrong game. What? How cute is this? A pink... I, I need to be better organized before these to do another DVD dice rolling because that was actually so fun. But there was a few problems. Like, I was rolling two dice and I had a one pile. And everyone's like, um, can't roll one if you have two dice. Anyways, okay. Um, next time. Next time I'll get organized. Oh, holy crap, sorry. <laughs> the littlest tweak. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, George Clooney! George Clooney was the other Batman. That's right. Um, okay. Yes, um, I'm reading the Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise still 30 years later. You're right. It's so huge at Disneyland. Um, don't forget the great Cassie slash subscriber divide that is Robocop. <laughs> okay, out of the ones I just mentioned, Robocop might be the one I liked the most. No, I like Red Dawn. Mm, development. You know what? No comment. No comment. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst. I'm sorry. It really... Okay, but you would rather me say it wasn't for me, right? Than um, lying about it and saying I loved it, right? Okay. Sometimes you just need to light a candle and smell the insanity from Nathan J. And I will always cherish this movie... Silver Linings Playbook. Thank you for the reaction to it. It's a special movie to me. I'm sure to a lot of other people, your reaction just makes it that much more special. Oh, yes. And you are the one who sent that quote. Oh, you have to do everything you can. You have to work your hardest. And if you do, if you stay positive, you have a shot at a silver lining. What the heck? That's so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and a yummy candle. Oh. Come on. Mom's last nerve. Oh, look, it's on fire. <laughs> Ooh, that actually smells amazing. Huckleberry lemon vanilla. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute and funny. Love it. <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. Always oh, so nice to send packages. Um, okay. Jacob Lonsbury, love how open-minded and adventurous your picks are. Need more foreign films on the channel? Oh, I know! Um, for Godzilla, do what you did with Bond. Two from each era. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just looking at Toddzilla's comment. Hear that, boys? 
<laughs> Robocop. She still wears the shirt. I do. I do still wear the shirt. It's a great color on me, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. This is from... Oh, Mackenzie and Lamar Smith. Oh, my. I have been craving these candy nuts. Oh, please don't have missed the expiration date. These last forever, right? I seriously have been craving these. Um, nope, we're good. We're good. They're so great. Yum, yum. We've got um, pecans, walnuts, and... Nope, pecans. Okay, okay, okay. They're all... I love candied pecans. Actually, I'm making a salad tomorrow for Sunday dinner that those will come in so handy. All right. This is from the National Museum of the Mighty 8th Air Force. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. This is from Roger H. I was like, oh, you live in Provo. It's <laughs> my address. Okay. It's my PO box. Okay. Let's see. This is from, okay, Masters of the Air. Oh, <gasps> what? Okay, hold on. National Museum of the Mighty 8th Air Force, which is in Georgia, it looks like. This is very cool. Oh, an Air Force bear. And what? I need to wear this on my last watching of Masters of the Year. That is so, oh, I love the heathered gray. So cool. And the book, The Mighty Ape, Masters of the Air over Europe. What? Okay, but the Masters of the Air I'm watching, they were the hundredth, right? But th maybe this is where they got the name Masters of the Air? Or were they the eighth? Or is it just, a, this is a, they're, um, they're, recounting okay that is so cool thank you thank you for thinking of me and, and i love um i'm i was unsure the first episode of masters of the air but i'm really loving learning more about that side of it um <clears throat> okay Eighth group, the hundredth was under the eighth group command. Oh, okay. So it is about that group. What? That's so cool. The one hundredth was part of the eighth Air Force. Okay, okay. See, I'm not good at that stuff. Um Okay, you guys are setting me straight. Okay. What is this? Hold on. I'm trying to find the notes. Oh my gosh. Stop. This is so cute. Hold on. Hope you enjoy Wally. He's a tissue box holder. Oh my goodness. However, you have to open the box and take out the tissues, then put them in. I've loved mine, so I thought you'd like one too from Katie Jackson. This is so cute oh my goodness look it's like heavy like this is legit let me show you Wally. and look oh you must take the kleenexes out here you load them in there and then take them out and this oh oh i did okay yeah it's magnetic oh crap phew thought i just broke it on camera um okay this is darling Okay. 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 What do you guys are? You go right there, buddy. Okay. Oh, do 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 do. Macabre movie mania. Cassie, you think you'll ever get to the devil's advocate? It's not scary and very thought provoking. Okay, that's an idea. I think you've told me about that before, but now I can't remember who's in it or what it's about. 
but um yeah i'll think about it in, in october um wesley i'm glad so glad you love my christmas gifts i know carly's gonna love hers too yes she is now you finally put a face to the name sorry for my hideousness stop doing that you are very handsome stop saying that um i still hope you'll react to the stooges my friends hope too they are funny i know i need to um see you don't sweat it fifth element not far from hot garbage for me too Continue Batman. I want to see Patreon react to you enjoying Batman and Robin over Batman 89. Oh, just like a massive unsubscribe. Oh. Um. Put him to, put Wally to work. Adam Scott says, compressing all that cardboard into cubes. <laughs> uh, what's the movie you cried the most? Schindler's List. Schindler's List, probably the first, except it was from farther back in the channel when I was more starting out and I was really embarrassed of crying that much on camera. So I paused it and just full on ugly cried, sobbed off camera and then came back and finished it. Um, so I guess they didn't, you guys didn't see me cry that much, but The Patriot, was up there zero makeup on by the end like patriot a uh, patriot yeah that was you know what else i cried in a lot um taking chance it was kind of like a very like i don't think it's a very heard of movie with kevin bacon i think it was all also highly emotional and um oh legends of the fall oh my gosh that one killed me United 93. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ford versus Ferrari. Also balling on the, at the end of that one, I think. Okay, hold on. If I try to bring that over here, it's pretty heavy. I'm going to hurt myself. Okay. We'll start with this one. This is from Ryan G. Okay. Whoops, a daisy. Oh, Godzilla says Kevin Costner was a B-17 pilot and Kiefer Sutherland was a radio operator in a 45 minute episode called The Mission of Amazing Stories in the 80s. It's on most services for $2. I promise you will love it. Deal. I will watch that as soon as possible. That sounds great. Um, <clears throat> okay. Greetings, Cassie, and whoever is checking this box. Well, everything in here should be self-explanatory. I should explain what's in the tube. Okay. There's a website, Lord of Maps, that makes Lord of the Rings-style maps of real places, and I got two I hope you like. Sorry, no Alberta. What? With that out of the way, I've had too much fun with your reactions, so I thought I would jump in the game and send you some tokens of my appreciation. It's fair to say I've seen a lot of the movies you reacted to more than I can count. At the same time, I couldn't tell you the last time I sat down and watched any of them. When I found your channel with the modern movie Top Gun Maverick, I never thought I would also reconnect with beloved movies in my past. For that alone, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. The only movie I sent you is the documentary Apollo 11. Okay, I saw that in the DVD pile. Released on the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Made with some never-before-seen footage. Not sure it's something you could react to, but after your comments on Apollo 13, I thought you might be curious to see the real thing with no Hollywood meddling up close and personal. It's only 90 minutes long. You should at least watch the first 20 minutes up to the launch. Wow, that is so kind. Thank you. Um, okay, I already see some really cute stuff in here. Scotty, it's a little Scotty. A little Scotty action figure. And Spock. Guys, it's Spock in his Earth costume with his little toque. Do you remember that? What was that from again? Um... I can't remember the name of the episode. The City on the Edge of Forever says it on here. Okay, that is so funny that I just love him in his soup. Oh, and then we get... That's how I actually remember Scotty, is this guy. This cute little... 
with his salt and pepper silver fox hair. Oh, I love him. It's got a little card. Ooh, a Star Wars keepsake, a curious encounter on Endor from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Love, love. We've got the USS Enterprise right here. Look at that little model. Okay, this is so fun. Star Trek The Astral Symphony. Okay, I gotta... Okay, it looks like these are from the movies. Yes! I actually thought these the soundtrack was amazing on those. Um... Ted Lasso Party Game. Okay. You guys know how much I love this movie. That is awesome. AFC Richmond forever. Um, we've got Star Trek The Official Starships Collection. Whoa. This is cool. I hope I can open it. <laughs> careful, careful. I think it's, it's a magazine. Yeah. I feel like I should be so careful. This, oh, you can't see. <laughs> this is very cool. This is, this is perfect for my collection. It's very shiny and nice. <clears throat> Little golden book Star Trek. I had no idea. I have Little Golden Book Star Wars and no Star Trek that someone had sent me. I am Captain Kirk. I am Mr. Spock. <gasps> Taylor Swift. And Jaws. <laughs> A little golden book of Jaws. Hooper and Brody head out to sea with Quint the Fisherman. And then what? I hope the shark isn't going on the boat ever and Okay, even big sharks get tired. The shark is ready to head home. It's time to say goodbye to Brody, Hooper, Quinn, and Amity Island. That is hilarious. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, also, I'm so curious about these maps. What a cool idea. Oh, this is a crocheted Spock. The Knit series. What? That is so cute. Uh, Spock forever. Okay. Lordofthemaps.com, he said. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Look at this. A Lord... Of the ring style map of Utah. Guys! What? Let's zoom in here. That is so cool! And Canada! What the heck? How do people think of these amazing ideas? And then for you to think of me and send it to me is just the sweetest thing, and I love it. I love it. Another great gift idea, guys. If you're for all your movie lover friends, when it's their birthday or Christmas. Um, thank you so much. What a thoughtful, awesome package. I don't want to say your name. Oh, I'm zoomed in. That's good. I almost showed your address. Okay, thank you so much, Ryan. You're the best. Oh, I gotta put this all back in. Hold, please. <sighs> Okay. 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 I think I'm going to do another big one. Actually, Ben, if you're listening, can you come clear the way so I can go um, do a big one out there? Okay. Um... Omar, hey there. Hi, Omar. For a poll idea, how about star-studded cast poll? There was quite a few that would be fun. Take care. Ooh, like an ensemble cast? Or just like one that has 
like a lot of famous people, like famous stars in it. Give me an example. I love that idea. Um, <clears throat> Hold on a sec. This is a Star Trek channel now. Not all the way. I mean, we're having a lot of fun and that's great. But just think this week, we also got Secretariat and Silverado is coming in just very soon. Okay. Ooh. Garrett, um, yes. Garrett popcorn. Okay. I think this one's not open, but it's from legit here at Popcorn, so I guess it can't be too crazy. Um, yum! They have the best popcorn. They're in, based out of Chicago. Look at all these! Okay. Caramel. Caramel. Oh, okay, they're all caramel. <laughs> That's great, because I love caramel. Remember Carly's like, I like the caramel better in Chicago mix. And I like the cheese, but actually I like them both. They're better together. Thank you to whoever sent that. I'm sorry, it didn't have a name on it. Um, okay, this is another, woo! Ron C package, open live. Oh, this is for Carly. It says to Carly. Okay, I'm gonna let her open it. But looks like it's got some books. She loves fantasy, a cute little diamond pen, and a letter. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go out here for a second. BRB. No, I haven't opened up Okay, these are two very big boxes um, from Joseph S. And I know he's a patron and has been, um, he said how much care he put into these packages. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, okay. Cassie, hello. Welcome to this little adventure you're about to go on embark on of course first we have a couple of rules here at hogwarts absolutely no scanning screening or opening these gifts sorry until on live stream they were screened but not by me i want these presents to be like you're walking into a movie blind if you can't trust a u.s marine who can you trust i'm sorry we just had a bad experience not from you of course so please no peeking you might want to save okay i read this because he said i read this already okay 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 now i'm so excited you might want to save my presents for last trust me see you in the live stream make sure you open the little box first little package first okay yes my sharpie markers suck hold on give a shout out to all the movie reactions channels out there yes he lists a lot of them i love that so many of you um Watch other ones and support other ones. I just love that. We'll just name a few. Cinevinge, Binge, Vicuña, Indie Blue, uh, Mary Cherry, Jen Murray, Cinepals, Media Nights, Christy Reacts, Holden Hardman. Wow, you watch so many. Chanel Rocio, Colette Cherry, White Noise Reacts, Real Rejects, Dasha Reacts. Okay. Um, I'm so excited for our adventure. Hey, open the little one first. Um, oh boy, this is huge. Okay, I'm not going to put it on the bed because I don't want to show your address and also what, 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 what. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. <gasps> Gryffindor suitcase? What? This is so cool. And that's like... A legit one. Oh my goodness. Okay. It feels very heavy. So my guess is that there's something inside. Okay. Hold on.
Oh, wow. Okay. This is an adventure. First to read. Okay, Cassie, deep breath. <laughs> How'd you know? Okay, so in this box, uh, in this box for your kids, you can rewrap the gifts and put them under the tree if you want. I sent you extra wrapping paper. On to the second envelope. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Don't. But should I open this first or read the second letter first? It just says, don't forget to open this side. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna open this. I hope I'm doing this in the right order. Oh, this is for the kids. Okay, kids. Um, if they're watching grandma and grandpa, can you make them run outside for a second? I don't want them to see this yet. I wanna surprise them. Okay, this is a nightlight. Ooh, it's like a rainbow um, optical acrylic light guide. That is cool. They will love that. Ooh, it's a touch switch. Even better. Um, oh my gosh. I can't believe I got a Gryffindor suitcase. Oh, a spell binding wands, authentic replica wand of Harry Potter. Harry Potter's wand, of course. So good. Ooh, the Golden Snitch Christmas tree ornament. Oh my gosh, they're gonna love this. And I love this. Harry Potter coloring book. Ooh, this is a fancy one too. <gasps> it's like the good quality paper, not like that gray see-through paper. That is nice. And we've got... The Harry Potter official Christmas cookbook. Speaking of cookbooks, ooh, Hagrid's one pot pumpkin stew, wizard chess pie, great hall floating candle cake. So cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. And this is just the first one. This is so fun. Oh, and look, it's even got like little engraved Gryffindor symbols and H's. Okay, don't forget about this side. Okay. Okay. Here's the second letter. Ooh! Okay. So, this Harry Potter soap set, this is why this smells so good. I was like, why does this suitcase smell so good? Is another collectible. So, I got four of the soaps for you. Well, for Scott, but I got, <laughs> but I got two gallon. How do you write a seven? <laughs> two gallon Ziploc bags to keep it in. This should keep the bars from evaporating. I failed English. <laughs> now on to the big box. P.S. The two gallon bags are great for salt, sugar, flour, etc. to keep in, especially if the bag tears. Oh, oh wow. Okay, this is, oh, these are the collectible soaps. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. Gryffindor with brave hearts and daring minds. Gryffindor set apart with their courage. Okay, I want to smell what this, what, okay. Lion's tooth, heavy grit. Ooh, ooh, that, sound, that smells very brave. Um, Suds of the sly, snake grass. Ooh, that's actually nice, Slytherin. Okay, and then more with the two gallon bags. You have thought of everything. What a cool um, um, case, too. What in the world? This is so fun. Okay. He said, now on to the big box. <sighs> oh, crap. My computer died. Hold on. I gotta go see the chat on my phone. Hey Ben, if you see this, could you bring down a charger if you have a sec? Okay. Oh crap. My three hours is up. It's okay. We're getting there. We're doing okay. Right? 
Um, there's me. That's weird. Mark! Cassie, the Disney Princess Campfire shirt was Julie's idea. The Mr. Rogers card was mine. If you do a sequels poll, please add Airplane 2 on it. It has William Shatner in it. What? We know that Star Wars is your true love. <laughs> oh, Mark, you crack me up. Thank you. Okay. Um, ooh, yes. Guys, am I 1,000% bringing this Gryffindor suitcase to South Carolina on my trip? Yes. Yes, I am. And proud freaking of it. Oh, it's heavy though. Okay. Okay. To the big box. Hold, please. Okay, this is super heavy, so I'm gonna open it out here. I hope you can hear me. Oh boy. Okay. We've got a set, people. Okay, coming in hot. Dunna, dunna, dunna. A Slytherin big boy. What? My kids are going to die at this. Whew. Okay, also heavy. <laughs> this is too cool. Okay. It's so fun opening it. It feels like Christmas. Okay. <gasps> Guys, I want to... Oh, no, never mind. Oh, wow. Okay. Three. So this, Cassie, is more of a collector's item, but obviously it's yours now. Do what you will. But still, I suggest to keep it unopened. No guilt trip here. <laughs> Last but not least, on to the little package. Okay. Oh. Wow. Hold on. I gotta show you guys this. Oh. Look at this. This is 2,660 pieces Hogwarts Castle and Grounds Lego set. Wow. I, I was just at the Lego store in Disney Springs in Orlando. And I know how expensive these are. And... Thank you so much. That is so nice. But it's a collector's item. So I'm going to tell my kids they can't do it. But that's good because then they don't lose pieces. And then it just gets to be collected. And I love collecting things. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. That was three. Okay. Here's four. There is another collector's item. Enjoy. Quick fun fact. I went with the Harry Potter theme because I noticed how much you enjoyed the movies. This is signed by Daniel. What? What? Like signed by Daniel Radcliffe? Holy crap. Okay, hold on. I gotta zoom for you guys, because that is crazy. Can you see that signature on the front? Holy crap, you guys. I gotta be so careful. Um, okay. Hold on, I'll keep you on zoom for the for next reveal. Oh, 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 I hope I didn't go out of order. Let's see. Nope, I didn't. Okay, five's down here. Oh. <sighs> this is a treasure hunt. I 
don't know if he wants me to read all these aloud. Hold on, this is a long one. Okay, <laughs> he told the story about how him and his girlfriend were at a movie and they um, didn't love it, so they walked out and then they went to her mom and all of a sudden they found themselves with a cat and then they, he's not a cat person, but he did it for his girlfriend and then the um, cat had babies and now they have five cats and he just talked about how the movie led to all this and... Um, he hold on so this is all his movie stubs i guess he collects his movie stubs first movie stub to look at here and that's a cool idea to keep all your movie stubs um he said to look through them and then send them back though hunted Tommy Boy, oh wow, from 95, what, Mr. Deeds, oh these go way back then, okay, um, sorry, this fell off, I don't know which one I was supposed to look at first, oh wow, these are very old, that one, holy, I can't believe you kept these, 93, Dragon, um, that is very cool. I'm going to start collecting my, keeping mine. Empire. Empire. Oh, I wonder if that's Empire Strikes Back. In 2002, would it be? Okay, and then Resident Evil is the one they walked out of to get the cats. And there's one in there. I'm going to look through those. That's really cute. And then, um... Hold on, I don't, I want to be really careful with those. This is, um... New baby gift for mom, daddy, honey, so it says. Hey Ben, I need my chat. Uh, new parent decision coin, daddy's turn, mommy's turn. Flip for your fate, that's actually brilliant. Oh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> it's gonna solve some stuff. Okay, and then let's see. Oh, look at that card, very cool. Um, keep it as don't write on it keep it as a souvenir or give it to someone for Christmas on to the seventh envelope what a cool card okay Merry Christmas and a happy new year the end open last 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 as for everything else is open The reason why I did not get you matching luggage is because I know you're more of a Gryffindor lady, so they did not have a Gryffindor check-in, so I could have got two Slytherin, which I know you would have hated, <laughs> or one of each, and I figured Christmas red, green. I hope you are okay with the red and green. Of course I am! They said they'd take it back, um, the carry-on for a green and Slytherin carry-on. They had some Gryffindor check-ins used, but I would never get you anything like that. Oh. By the way, Die Hard is not a Christmas <laughs> Famous last words from number eight. It's Zoom, but they won't be able to. Where is it on the other side? Can you do it? Just your hand. <laughs> I can't reach. No, you can't see anything. Wow, Joseph. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much. Hold on, just wanna make sure.
Okay. That was amazing and so fun and so thoughtful and very, very cool. And I can't wait to show my kids all this. Um, hey, how good of a conversation will this Slytherin check-in bag be though? <laughs> conversation starter, you know what I mean, like at the airport. Okay. Okay, hold on. Computer starter back up. Guys, I'm sorry this is going so long. I feel like this is the point where I get very annoyed with myself. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, Sean, the gray Starfleet PJs, which I love, and Romulan Ale Magnet are also from me. Tell Carly hello and hope you feel better. That is so... I love those jammies. I can't wait. Um, okay. Um, if you guys have seen a live before, you know the Mr. Famous Aaron G boxes. Um, this one is from him, and he always puts these cute little boxes that actually have so many uses. Okay, I'm gonna kind of do this. Okay, I need to see, um, I want to see all the chat when I was opening all the Harry Potter stuff. Okay, I'll have to go back and look. Ooh, chocolatey dipped fortune cookies. Okay, can I just tell you, my kids and I went to Panda Express the other day, went through the drive-thru, came home. Realize they forgot to give us our fortune cookies, which apparently is the only thing my kids like about Panda Express because they didn't care about their food. They just want to go for the fortune cookies. So, um, change it. Ben's typing notes to me. I'm not supposed to tell you that probably, but I don't think we'll be done in 15 minutes for Silverado premiere, so I think you should um, push it a little bit. Anyways, we drove back to Panda Express, because I'm such a nice one. <laughs> or a pushover. <gasps> My favorite. Ooh, rainbow. I didn't know they had rainbow ones. I cannot get enough mini eggs. Best candy. Ooh, balloon dog fidget toys. Guys, I... My kids... If Love Aaron G packages. We've got scenting scented rainbow pens. Silly putty. Icy rainbow pens. And it's scented. Oh my gosh. We've got <clears throat> Rubik's. I think I've told you guys about my son and the Rubik's Cubes and how much he loves them and then what happened with Max Park, right? Who's like the best world champion Rubik's Cuber. Oh, he, an infinity cube, pullback spider. You have, I honestly, I cannot compete with you for stuff my kids will love. This is amazing. <gasps> oh, running pullback rat. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Jaws cards, Star Trek magnet. My buddies. Thor magnet, love it. Ooh, another magic star cube. And a Rubik's keychain. Gonna, they're gonna be screaming when they get home. I'm not kidding. Okay, now we've got more mini eggs. You're too good to me. Um, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share those with friends. I cannot eat all those. I mean, I could, but I shouldn't. I can't. Oh, <laughs> this one is so soft. Nope, not today. Actually, my daughter just started watching like the old Winnie the Pooh cartoons. I never watched those as a kid. 
Um, but they're so cute and they're so wholesome. Sperms. Ooh, tie dye. Love it. Love it. Um, okay. Other favorite candy. You know me so well. Can't get over it. I'm just getting so hungry. And you're supposed to eat stuff when you take medicine, right? Okay. I'm curious how you found those because I thought they were only in Utah. Mm. They're just the best. Oh. Cinderella puzzle. Beauty and the Beast puzzle. You know we love a good puzzle in this family. I'm so sorry. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, just did a little tweak again. The mother load. Oh, baby, baby. Year supply. And some more Jelly Belly Taffy. This is new. Okay, I'm gonna have to try those. And Mando baby blanket. Okay, this is good because I actually have this one and it's in our theater room and the boys fight over it all the time. They all want the baby Yoda blanket. So you just solved a big problem you didn't even know about. You are the best. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I promise it's fine. It was just loud. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, I did not see that. Okay. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I guess an address was showing. Um, let's all be cool, guys, okay? Um, but we're gonna have to go block that out in, um, Post. Okay. Wesley says, my apologies for having the guts to say that my friends and I want to meet you and Carly at Disneyland account because you two are so sweet and fun. Plus my friend from Canada has cerebral palsy. Would love to meet a fellow Canadian. Oh, I do hope I run into you at Disneyland one day. How amazing would that be? Um, and like I said, we got to get Carly there. Okay. Oh, I did something there, guys. It was not even anything. I literally looked down and up. Okay. This is from Sean Kydle Kildle. I, I I think you're okay with me saying your last name because it's 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 on your um username. Okay. What? Lieutenant Commander Montgomery Scott. Um I'm gonna have the coolest tree ever in the universe. This is a keepsake collection, or maybe it's not for the yeah, it is Christmas tree ornament. Okay. Miss you guys. Miss you. Star Trek Tumblr. I hope it's okay, Sean. But since I have this one right here, I would love to give this one to my dad. Is that okay? Because he freaking loves the Tumblr, guys. He puts ice in his milk. He's so obsessed with things being cold. If I leave the milk on the counter, literally to turn around and grab my cereal box, he's already running and putting it back in the fridge. He's so obsessed with things being cold. So this would be absolutely perfect for him. Um, Star Trek The Voyage Home. Okay, it's based... Okay, is this a book based on the movie and not the other way around? That is cool. Love that. We also got another very cool Star Trek magnet. I sent you a Star Trek Hallmark figure, Star Trek refrigerator magnet. You're the best. You're the best. And a watermelon head. Life is watermelon sweet. Fun stuff for fun people. Watermelonheads.com. Oh, it's a it's a it's a brand. Okay. Now I have to see this. Mm. 
beam, beam me up, Scotty. I don't see any signs of intelligent life. Oh, that's so cute. I love how much you guys love Scotty with me. He's the best. Bean me up. Get it? Bean. Okay. Okay. We're doing good. We're going. We're doing good. Okay. Uh, okay. That was over there. Um, that one's done. This is Roncy. Good thing. Okay, hold on. Okay, I will read these, Ron, I promise. <laughs> okay, he's got, a, it's a little jewelry box that says, mansplaining, an age-old pastime of like a, we've got a little um, decoration, reminder, 9 p.m. is the time to remove your day pajamas and put on your night pajamas. Whoops, a daisy. Sorry, okay. Ooh, pistachios. My favorite nut. Not only does it does my mind wander, sometimes it walks off completely. That is very true. Your crazy is showing. You might want to tuck that back in. Oh wow! We have got a personality types. Um, oh, okay. This is a study he did with his students um, about gender roles. That's, I, I'm excited to read about that. Thanks for thinking of me. What else we got here? Um, the book Self-Made Man was by a journalist who disguised herself as a male then spent 18 months learning what men are truly like when women aren't around to judge them. Very interesting. Self-Made Man by Nora Vincent. If anyone's interested. And for the kiddos. Oh, a bunch of really cute pencils. Kids love this stuff. So sweet. Thank you, Ron. And I actually see one more from you right here. So I'm going to open that one. Thank you for all the time. You spend putting these letters together. I really, it really shows and um, is appreciated because I know that takes a lot of time and you're a teacher and that takes a lot of time. Oh wait, this one's not from Ron. Sorry, hold on. This is from Zachary K. He said, I was really originally going to send Don't Make Waves, a Sharon Tate movie, but hearing how you loved Wonka, I decided on this. I must have seen this movie 50 times as a kid. You will love it. Your kids will love it. No, oh, another DVD snuck through. Oliver, I've actually seen this, I think. I don't think my kids have, though, but I know my husband has seen this. We've talked about it, how, like, we watched it as kids. That's going to be a really good one to show the kids. That's so kind. Thank you. We did like Wonka. <laughs> have you guys seen the TikTok of Timothy Shalloway? Uh, never mind. I'm going to butcher it. I'll post it on my Instagram. But it basically combined Wonka and Dune 2 in like a scene. And anyways, it's pretty clever. Okay. This is also from Vaughn. Wait, was that the address showing you guys were saying the whole time? Okay. <clears throat> Silent Evil 999. Been a follower for two years now. Thank you for sticking around. Welcome to the Trectum. Gotta do my exercises. Look how close I am. But they are down. But that still counts. Um, everybody hydrate. This is your reminder to take care of yourself. No lime jelly beans. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Never mind. There's a note on this. This was combined with the other ones. Okay, okay. So his stuff from here was combined in the other ones. Okay, so we have this one and then one more big one and then we're actually done, I think. Okay, open inner box second. Okay. I, that's angry killer lime jelly beans. 
<laughs> they got any not paying attention. Oh, okay. Hey, Cassie. Merry Christmas and my best to you and your family. Oh, guys, people are so, what? An Apple gift card? Thank you. What? This is from Chris. Why? And that will be, that is very kind. Um, hold on. Okay. Oh, okay, this is so nice. Wow. That was very kind. Thank you so much. He said, you know how I commented that I always wanted to eat my Chinese food in this. Well, guess what I put my panda leftovers in so I can open it and see these boxes just like the movies. This is amazing. Thank you so much. And chopsticks, which I still need to learn how to use. And I think from the letter, these are a whole load of fortune cookies oh my gosh my children are going to free <laughs> ah, it's so funny what that is he's it was a really really sweet letter thank you so much and for the gift card that is so kind um <clears throat> okay um one more a big one an rng one they're so fun. Okay, BRB. Um, Mark says we want to run into a Disneyland too. You should make a cape in the shape of a hamburger. The USPS should have you make an ad for them. <laughs> I get what you're saying. For Ben, you should make a cake in the shape of a hamburger. The USPS should have me make an ad for them. Would you consider doing a popcorn pick with Carly from the low romance list I sent her? Yes, I would not only consider it, I will do it. Let's do it. Um, sorry. Okay. Guys, do we all have a Disneyland meetup hangout? Leslie, that's too much. Oh my goodness. This was fun, Cass. Glad you love the gifts. I hope someday you and Carly will react to my dad's favorite movies, The Centerville Ghost. Darby O'Gill and the Little People and Iron Will in the future. God bless you, Carly and the family. My goodness, you guys are too too kind to me. Um, ow. Have I ever told you guys how big of a klutz I am? <laughs> I just am reminded because I just keep hitting my elbow on that door every single time I walk in, no matter how many times I've done it. But I always have been. Got made fun of a lot in high school. I was just always tripping or stubbing my toe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 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 That's a good idea. Someone said I should open a fortune. Okay, fine. Twist my arm. It's so fun. Okay, let's hope it's a good one. Oh, I broke it. Is that a bad sign? Okay. The simplest answer is to act in bed. Just kidding. You guys all do that too? Not with kids. Um, 
sauce. Yeah. Simplest answer is to act. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Don't know exactly what it means, but yeah, I agree. Ooh. Reese's peanut butter. Kids, if you're watching, <laughs> go outside, go out of the room. I'm giving you 10 seconds. Okay, this would be great Easter basket fillers. Okay, Cadbury cream eggs. I remember loving these as a kid so much. As an adult, they're very sweet, but as a kid, they're, they were like the prize in the Easter basket. More mini eggs. You beautiful man, you. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. It says raised on the street. <laughs> That's so cute. And ooh, cap shirt. Love that one. Guys, who's your favorite Avenger? Me and my kids were talking about this the other day because we're watching the Avenger movies. And I I was surprised actually by their answer. They both love Iron Man the most. I mean, I love Iron Man too, but I don't, I don't know if he's my favorite. He's up there. Top three. Oh, guys, kids love this stuff so much. I'm not kidding you. These are all the rage. These easy, squeezy, neato squeezer balls. But actually, I'm going to keep one of these for me because it'll be a not noisy on camera stress ball I can use. Which is perfect. Okay. Chapel, as in Billy Chapel, from For Love of the Game, right? Billy Chapel, was it Billy? Can't see. Uh, I want you guys to reply to me. Okay, I love this either way. Carly is in a softball league, and she wears these jerseys that you guys have sent her like every week and they look so cute on her um okay this is for carly and um oh snow cone cups this is probably to go with the snow cone machine you sent me before what what i cannot wait for summer and to be the most popular house on the block with my popcorn machine and my snow cone machine <laughs> And my rocket building kits. I'm not kidding, guys. Oh, this is for Carly, too. Oh, I won for her as well. Okay, I'm going to let her do those. <gasps> Who won the poll? John asked. Where is the poll? Uh-oh. Guys, where's the poll? Okay, I don't know. We'll find it in a second. Okay, this is the last box, remember. Tour of the World Van Halen. Gosh, I gotta actually make a video of me listening to him because I still don't really know and I still get such a hard time. <gasps> it's Turbo Man. It's Turbo Time Shirt from Jingle All The Way. That is so good. I'm going to wear that for a Christmas reaction. Um, okay, we had the Cinderella puzzles in the last box. Now we have a Captain America puzzle. Okay, I really hope. Can the pole just disappear? Okay. Oh, I already opened those. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I already opened that box. Okay. Star Trek Space, The Final Frontier. Love it! And another Rubik's. Oh, this one's uh, two by two. He, uh, this one, I think my 
younger son could solve, which I love that. Because the other ones are very hard. Oh boy. And again. <sighs> Filet of squish. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> These are stretchy, squishiest fish. To stretch, flop it around. This little guy will keep the smile on your face. Filet of squish. What will they think of next? <laughs> okay. Um, we've, oh, don't worry, stretchy reptiles. I'm never going to have to buy another birthday present again. These are so awesome. I really do need to know where you find this stuff because amazing. Um, okay. Oh, what? Okay. Kit Kat chocolate frosted donut flavor. I have to try it. That is so good. It's still got the amazingness of just being a Kit Kat, but it tastes a little bit like a Boston cream donut. Oh my gosh, that's good. Um. Cadbury eclairs? What? There's a bunch of these, by the way. If you see these, grab one and tell me what you think. Because I think that is delicious. Okay. Is this because I'm always get so hot? <laughs> and it's pink and adorable and retro looking? That is... You guys... I can't handle your kindness, and I hope you know, I, this, like, really inspires me to, like, give what I can to people, and, like, pay it forward, and, you know, just think of, when I see something, I'm like, oh, I bet they would love that, and before, I might not, but, like, I get it, and I give it to them, because, um, you guys just inspire me. You really do. Splat balls. We, we have a, like a second floor balcony kind of thing in our house. Like it's just like looking down onto the first level and the kids love throwing these from up top. So those are also going to be very popular. Okay. That's it. Holy crap. Um, <clears throat> whoops. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to pack this again as nicely or neatly. I know, but <sighs> ouch. Um, okay. Dear heavens. Okay, the premiere is now going to be at 6, so in 20 minutes. We can go over there together. Okay, this is the last box. Hold on. We did it. We did it together. <sighs> One sec. Okay, we gotta go find that hole, people. Okay, hold up. Okay. Okay, one second. Hey guys, where'd the pole go? <laughs> I wonder, I mean like I should have access to it, right? If I press this, start a pole, it's gone! Do we have to do it again? We have to do it again. Did anyone remember? Oh, guys, I think we have to do it again. Okay. Okay. Um.
what was it? No way out. A civil action. Um, Stargate and Thelma and Louise. I'm sorry. It's um, we're gonna whoever's gonna win at the end of this, I guess. Ready, set, go. I have no idea how it disappeared. It's a little concerning. Look, look at this. How how uneven that is. I can't put this one down. It's like my face is crooked. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, John, thanks for reminding me about the poll with that super chat. Mike Gallagher says, if you run into me at Disneyland, please call the authority just because I've been kidnapped. LL, but I'm glad for those that enjoy that kind of thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like Carly would say the same thing, but I am going to kidnap her. So it's great. Um, Carly just like, I would rather go to Six Flags. And I'm like, but Six Flags doesn't have magic. What are you talking about? Nathan Jasper, Stan Lee is my favorite Avenger. Good call. Um, it's been fun to point out to the boys as they're watching the Marvel movies, like trying to find the little Stan Lee cameo. Um, Larry Daryl, I bet Cassie is the best yard sales. Oh, geez. no. JK, JK, please consider Steel Magnolias for Easter. Oh, yes. I've been wanting to watch that one forever. If not, any holiday works. Ditto, the Amazing Stories episode, The Mission, with Kevin Costner, Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, and Spielberg. Wow. Okay. I will absolutely check that out. Katie, I just sent you my favorite... Where do you go? This is my favorite Star Trek book. It's called Imzadi by Peter David. For the romantic that you are, I think you'll love this Star Trek love story as much as I do. Fans probably wait, want you to wait until the show is over. Okay. So, is it about characters we know and love on the show? So it's like fanfic? Have you guys heard about the fanfic about how uh, Hermione and Draco like love each other? And apparently it's like steamy and like amazing and everyone is now team Hermione and Draco, which is so weird. But that's the thing. Um, Mark, yes, the Disneyland meetup, Julian, I'll be there. What is your favorite gummy candy, not brand, what type, bears, works, cola bottles, frogs? Oh, cola bottles, actually. Or I do love the Albanese gummy bears. Have you guys had those? They're so good. That brand Albanese, it's like white, cute packaging. <clears throat> um, Cole, some of these peoples have gift giving down to an art. Seriously, in awe, I do hope they're taking care of their families first. I'm sure they are. <laughs> um, I know, I know. They're amazing, thoughtful gift givers. It's seriously a skill and the generosity and thoughtfulness is is so appreciated nathan yes i got the big box of dvds i sent um i sent it before christmas i did get it um it was a very big box of dvds and no that's not how i tweaked my back it was the stupid gym this morning like i think i was doing shoulder presses i'm not gonna do it the motion and it didn't even feel that bad at first, but by the time I got home from the gym, like I could not move my neck and like the littlest, like even putting on lip chop, I was like, <gasps> like, oh, so bad. <clears throat> um, fatty McButter pants. Every time, every time <laughs> your handle makes me laugh. Note to self, if I send a package, package to Cassie, send something light. And include icy hot muscle cream. I, I did make Ben rub deep blue, but our whole house smells like it now. But I don't know. I think I need those muscle relaxants and a hot bath and to go to the chiropractor on Monday. Um, Logan, is it possible to verify that you received a package? So if you did not see me open it, uh, hmm. It, if it just had DVDs in it, um, we don't open those live. I just would put them in the DVD pile. Um, but you can um, email me or message me um, and we can figure it out. Um, I hope nothing got lost. Um, okay, let's see. 54%? Dang it, guys. Thelma and Louise is second? What? I thought No Way Out would be close. 
it's kind of the one I was cheering for, but I do want to watch Stargate too. We've got Kurt Russell and James Spader and my dad liked Stargate SG-1 a lot, so I think it'd be great. Um, okay, hold on. I got to put my back up against here, but I think I am moving my neck better, right? Maybe not. I think a little better. It was William Shat. It was William Shatner's 93rd birthday yesterday. Captain Cook Forever. I actually saw that. I meant to repost it on Instagram. Um, there was the cutest picture of him. Let me see if I can pull it up. I can't believe he's 93. That makes me feel old and I didn't even grow up with him, but <laughs> does that make you guys feel old? Oh, he's, this is the one. Look at his cute smile. Okay, hold on. You yeah. Can you see? Oh, just love Captain Kirk. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Um, oh. <clears throat> Brett Lyons, do you have a favorite charity I'd like to donate? Oh, that is so sweet and kind of you. Um, we've done a few in the past where um, I've donated a portion or all of the Super Chats um, from lives like these. But basically, I love giving to children, like anything that benefits children, and especially... Um, you know, children who like are foster children or aren't having needs met, but also veterans, um, hold a special place, especially after seeing everything on the channel. And, um, also one live, I just called my kid's school and paid off, I think, I think I paid off like 30 something lunch accounts that had a negative balance anonymously. And, you know, because some of them were only like a $4 negative balance. So there was able, I was able to do a lot. But that's something like you could do, like call, um, okay, why is the name? Schools, um, what kind of, what the school, the uh, first, what's the school where they give like, my kids literally went to one for five years. Uh, I don't know, guys. I can't. Where they like do free breakfast and, and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know why it escapes my brain. Anyways, that's a, like a really, uh, like, you know, if you only had 20 bucks to donate or something, you could probably pay off a kid's lunch account and that would be huge for someone. Uh, no, it's a special kind of school that, that, caters to kids in need i um gosh maybe it's only a utah thing um no 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 goodness this is gonna drive me nuts Still don't know. Okay. Oh, yes, that was one of the, I would, I need to make a video and share more about donating to Children's Miracle, or the Primary Children's Hospital, because that was, that was really, really cool. At Christmas, we got to give thousands of dollars, $4,000 um, to families who had kids in the hospital primary children's hospital over the holidays. Um, guys, what is it called? I, <laughs> oh my gosh. 
gosh. Okay. Nope, not vocational school, not preparatory. No, it was like, it's called like first something. Or, I, that is weird how it's left my brain. I'm getting old. Like, I can't see things as well anymore. It's really freaking me out. Okay. Um, okay, seven more minutes till we're all gonna head over to Silverado, right? Um, was it Z Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters? <laughs> Wait, that's, I think that's a joke that I don't get. Dang it. Title one! My mom just texted me. <laughs> Hi, mom! Title one schools. Thank you. I'm saying you can call Title One schools in your area and pay off lunches. Okay. Oh, my mom's probably like, okay, it's almost been four hours, Cassie. Wrap it up. Um, okay. Hold on. Um, it's me, Dave. Hi, friend. So when is the Star Trek wing of the PIB storage facility opening? <laughs> you are the best. Silverado! Guys, I am I loved Silverado. Um, please come watch that with us. Tara, Brad Pitt's movie debut was in Thelma and Louise. Okay, and I'll be changing my gate to Thelma and Louise. Just kidding. I, didn't, I can't vote. It won't let me. But I did not know that. I have no idea what it's about. Is it about sisters? Actually, I feel like people have told us that it's about sisters and me and Carly should watch it. But Stargate is definitely winning. Um, Cheshire, blapped on one lore tab. So cute. I'm not blapped and it wasn't a lore. What's blapped? <laughs> it was a Tylenol with coating. That's it. Or are you talking about you? Are you on lore tab? Are you okay? Are we okay? Okay. Um... Thank you, Video Tao. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to end the poll. Stargate clearly won, and I don't want it to disappear again. So, Stargate, coming to a channel near you. And for some reason, I thought it was in our March Madness bracket, but I guess it wasn't. So, that's great. Um, okay. I... <clears throat> uh, okay, they're not sisters. Good to know. Just friends. But still, I feel like it could be a sisterly movie we watch together. Because sisters are friends. Um, what was I going to say? I... can't remember. I think maybe my brain is... is maybe I am blapped. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to... We're going to... It, it premieres in four minutes, but, you know, we should probably take a tiny little break to do what you need to do, and then come back and watch Silverado with me. I also have an ad on this one, and don't be mad, and um, thanks for supporting and engaging with the sponsors that help the channel, um, you know. I, okay. Gene Hackman is in No Way Out too. I was looking for the poster. That doesn't exist here. Um, what? Guys, are you sure we don't want to watch No Way Out? It's going to have to Popcorn Pick of the Month it. Popcorn Pick of the Month's coming up. Did I already tell you? Tin Cup? True Romance, perhaps? Uh, Pleasantville? I don't know. I don't know. No promises, but those are what I'm thinking. Okay, <clears throat> okay, let's go to the bathroom. I'll see you back in three minutes, but the live is ending. Wait, it's not ending yet. I have to do my thank you speeches. Thank you, that's what I say to my kids. I love you a million, billion, kajillion. Thank you a million, billion, kajillion for being here, for supporting the channel, for sending things, but even if you don't send things or send a super chat, just showing up is so much. I could not do this without people just showing up. Um, it means the world to me. And I'm so humbled every time I go to the post office or, you know, even I just put up a 
put up a video and I see your views and your comments and your kind words and the letters you send and the encouragement just means the world. Um, so thank you. Truly thank you. Okay, we've got two minutes. Thank you to my mods. You guys are the best. Um, and I hope you all have the rest, a wonderful rest of your weekend. Spring is coming. Easter's almost here. We've got this. Okay. Love you all. See you at Silverado. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, bye.